Attention stations on the network. Our broadcast will begin in one minute from my mark. In five, four, three, two, one, mark. That was your one minute time check stations. On the Hawkeye Sports Network from Learfield, Hawkeye Basketball is on the air. Oh! Hawkeye Basketball is brought to you by Authentic Brand, the premium label of choice. hy V score big savings with a new hy V Perks membership. Honda, to see how Honda crushes the competition, see your central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge, just minutes south of Iowa City. United Healthcare, committed to helping people live healthier lives. U.S. Cellular, built for the Hawkeyes, built for silencing notifications and turning up the noise. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Wimmer's Meats, the official hot dog of the Hawkeyes. University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. And by Alliant Energy, powering a clean energy future. Welcome to the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show. Delivering opportunities and results for Iowa's 40,000 soybean farmers. We're in the Commonwealth of uh, the great state of Pennsylvania, one of the original 13 colonies, and they're known for their uh, thoroughbred uh, horse raising uh, in the Quaker state. Well, the Big Ten basketball horse race is approaching turn three of this season. The Hawkeyes are one of five teams bumper to bumper, log jammed in the middle of the conference standings, but just one game out of fourth place. It's time to start separating oneself from the others by stringing together victories. There are 10 games left, at least 10 games that are guaranteed. Anything beyond that is up to the players. But there's nothing else more motivating to a Peyton Sanford or a Tony Perkins than a chance to play again in the NCAA tournament. Iowa is just one of 10 teams nationally to qualify for March Madness the last four years, and one of three from the Big Ten. Purdue and Michigan State are the other two. Now, that's a pretty select company, but that's history. After holding off Ohio State and Iowa City Friday night, the Hawkeyes look to begin a winning streak on the road at Penn State. With that, we say good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show from the Bryce Jordan Center in State College, Pennsylvania, the home of the Nittany Lions, who've won back-to-back -back road games at Rutgers and Indiana and are one of those five teams like Iowa with six losses looking to advance up the standings ladder. This is Gary Dolphin, as always, joined by former Hawkeye great Utah Jazz and Chicago Bull world champ Bobby Hansen. And our engineer producer is Corey Sheets. Tip-off is at 6 o'clock for the Hawkeyes and the Nittany Lions. And Bobby, Penn State under first-year head coach Mike Rhodes. They're 9-3 and three at home, but I'm not so sure they wouldn't rather be in Iowa City given the road roll they're on. Rhodes brought in a lot of new players, including the former Atlantic 10 player of the year that he, he brought from Virginia Commonwealth, Ace Baldwin Jr., who averages 13 points, 5 assists, and 3 steals. Now, Penn State forces 16 turnovers on average. Let's start there. Now, what have you gleaned about this new-look uh, Penn State team? They're tough. They're tough, Gary. And uh, Mike Rhodes has, has brought a, a style, of, a, a tough physical defensive style 
from VCU, from the A-10, and he got two good players that he brought with him in Nick Kern and the man you mentioned, the little guy, number one, Ace Baldwin Jr. He has taken over the ball handling duties, the major scoring duties, after an injury to their leading scorer, Kanye Clary, who uh, took an elbow to the face in the victory against Minnesota, up in Minnesota, and he has not been back. So we don't know whether he will be back here tonight, uh, but they've been playing pretty well. The two victories at Minnesota and then the one at Indiana was really impressive. They were down big, put some defense on Indiana, second half shot almost 60%, made 12 three-point field goals in that game, and won that one in convincing fashion. So they're a team coming in here with a lot of confidence. Both the Hawkeyes and the Nittany Lions are 5-6 and six in the Big Ten. It's a big game here tonight for the Hawkeyes. Ironically, Iowa is the very best in the Big Ten at taking care of the basketball with just under 10 turnovers a game. So something's got to give uh, with this Iowa offense and the Penn State uh, defense. We certainly hope it's the former. Penn State's leading scorer is Kanye Clancy at 18 and a half points. I remember when he came in here a year ago as a freshman, didn't play a whole lot. Of course, that had a lot to do with uh, uh, Jalen Pickett and Miles Dredd and Seth Lundy, uh, all those grizzled veterans that uh, uh, two of them are playing in the NBA right now. But 18 and a half points a game, I mean, that that's top five in the conference. Uh, they have a, a tremendous inside big man in uh, Kudris Wahab. He's at nine and a half points, plucking eight rebounds a game. Coach Rhodes has his line uh, growling at a high level. Yeah, they really are. And uh, again, they hang their hat on defense. And you mentioned the kid, Kanye Clary, who comes in here. And uh, again, he, he plays with a mask. If he's going to play tonight, he'll have that, that mask to protect that broken bone in his face. But he's made a remarkable jump from his freshman year, averaging three and a half points to now averaging 18 and a half points. So he'll be a handful if he plays. Now, talking to people around here, when he does have the basketball, it tends to stick. Their offense doesn't move quite as well as it does with the guy. Ace Baldwin uh, a junior. So we'll see. Uh, I like our Hawkeye, uh, the way the Hawkeye guards are playing. Uh, Tony Perkins, you got DeSante Bowen off the bench, Brock Hardy, Josh Dix, Peyton Sanford. I mean, they're, they're plenty capable of, of uh, Ding those guys up, but you got to take care of the ball here tonight. As you mentioned earlier, Gary, Hawkeyes are not a turnover prone team, so they'll be tested here tonight because it's going to be, you know, 94 feet of full court pressure, physical, bumping you, playing defense with their chest, reaching in. They take gambles. You got to know when to attack, when you have the advantage, and when to pull it back out and run your offense. Yeah, well said. The Hawkeyes have not won here in Happy Valley since uh, 2019 and are 1-4 and four in their last five visits to the Bryce Jordan Center, including last year's heart stopper, 83-79. Uh, but hopefully the Hawks can reverse, uh, reverse fortunes uh, tonight. Good to have Patrick McCaffrey back playing meaningful minutes, too. 8-for-8 uh, uh, eight eight at the free throw line, including four in the final minute uh, last Friday against the Buckeyes that uh, sealed the deal. All right, we're going to come back. We're off and running here uh, at Penn State. Our pregame coverage is brought to you by the Iowa Soybean Association. Coming up next, we'll take a trip down memory lane with a Hawkeye historical winning moment presented by Riverside Casino and Golf Resort. We're headed for a 6 o'clock tip-off here on the Hawkeye Radio Network. This is Iowa basketball from Learfield. To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash fan of corn. With the Hawkeyes, every pass, shot, layup, and score is more than just part of the game. It's a testament to the teamwork, elbow greets, and can-do attitude it takes to win. In the same way, Case IH knows every successful farm is more than just a farm. It's the product of top-notch tillage, planting, harvesting, hay, and forage equipment at the hands of hardworking growers. Get a slam dunk by visiting your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash Hawkeyes to learn more. Go Hawks! Right now, you are not in the crowded Carver Hawkeye Arena, but you could be. You're not cheering a Hawkeye steal, fast break, and slam dunk, but you could be. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you could win a VIP game day experience to see the Iowa men's basketball team. The countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery lets you be a part of the action. To enter your ticket and see details, visit ialottery.com slash VIP. I'm Ingrid Lizarraga. 
breast surgeon at the University of Iowa Holden Comprehensive Cancer Center, the state's only NCI-designated cancer center. Here, we look beyond just the type of cancer you have to discover the molecular details of the disease. We have teams dedicated to each cancer type, with treatments and trials you won't find anywhere else in Iowa. Go to uihc.org slash cancer. Nestled on the rolling greens of the iconic Finkbine Golf Course, Bump's Restaurant is open to the public year-round. Whether you're swinging by after a round of golf or just in the neighborhood, Bump's is your go-to spot for scrumptious sandwiches, shareable appetizers, and mouth-watering pizzas. Quench your thirst with our selection of local craft beers. Or let our full bar serve you a refreshing cocktail to toast to your game. Or just because it's 5 o'clock somewhere. Our happy hour from 2 to 6 p.m. is the perfect 19th hole. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram to catch our latest daily specials and here's a little insider secret just for our radio listeners thursdays are not to be missed at bumps restaurant it's bogo happy hour buy one get one free on select beverages from our happy hour menu whether you're a diehard golfer or just love a great meal with a view bumps restaurant at finkbine golf course is your destination we're currently open wednesday through saturday swing on by today bumps at finkbine golf course great food great drinks and the best views in town see you at bumps Welcome to the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show, delivering opportunities and results for Iowa's 40,000 soybean farmers. Two meetings in the month of February, Big Ten basketball. Welcome back to our pregame coverage. Gary Dolphin with Bobby Hanson. Uh, Iowa and the Nittany Lions play uh, in about a little, little less than an hour. We'll tip it off. Uh, Hawks have won 13, lost 9. Penn State is at level 500 overall, 11 and 11. Both teams are 5 and 6 in uh, conference play. Penn State returns the favor. They come to Iowa City on February 27th for an afternoon, uh, uh, excuse me, an 8 o'clock evening game. Uh, and I really like this matchup for Iowa. The Hawkeyes are a much more confident team uh, coming out of the Ohio State game last uh, Friday night. But it hasn't been easy here at uh, at Penn State, at, at least lately. Hawkeyes are 1-4 and four in their last five games. And that brings us to our Hawkeye historical winning moment presented by Riverside Casino and Golf. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort. They'll be cranking up Blue Top Ridge in a month or so. Stop by in the meantime for a relaxing massage at the spa, fine dining at Ruthie's Steak and Seafood, and so much more. Visit Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, located just minutes south of Iowa City. We go back to uh, mid-January of 2019 for our uh, memory maker. Iowa defeated Penn State 89-82. Jordan Bohannon's step-back jumper with a half a minute to go. His fifth three-pointer of the night uh, clinched it for the 23rd ranked Hawkeyes. Up one. Penn State extends the defense. Fire. Bo Hannon, a long three. Good! Ice water. Jordan Bohannon, cold blooded from about 30 feet. Timeout, Penn State. That put the Hawkeyes up two possessions and they were able to hold on. Bohannon finished the night with 19 points. Luca Garza matched a season high with 22 and also grabbed 12 rebounds. And Ryan Creener. Had 15 off the bench for the Hawkeyes, who uh, at that point were 15-3 and three and 4-3 and three in the Big Ten. They won their fourth straight game and 9 out of 10, defeating the Nittany Lions 89-82. I had forgotten about Ryan Creener's yeah. performance off the bench. He was our star of the game that night. Yeah, it's good to hear Ryan still playing professionally, I believe, in Japan. But, uh, yeah, you're going to need efforts like that here tonight. You're going to need guys to step up with courage and make shots. You're going to need some work inside. The big guy Wahab in there, he blocks a couple shots a game. And, as Ryan Creener did, you need the guy off the bench come and give you a spark you got to create some energy in this building right here they block off the upper uh, half of the uh, of the, the bowl up here so kind of like a, a sparse crowd here tonight but that gives you an opportunity to get your get your game going and it's an early start so it'll be a what crowd is here will be late arriving other than uh, the student body of course uh, Bobby uh, Fran and I talked about uh, Josh Dixon our pregame visit uh, 
his maturing and uh, people forget you know his senior year in high school when he shattered that leg broke that leg late in the year which almost uh, entirely uh, put him behind the eight ball for his freshman year but man has he come on strong here in the last uh, month in particular but really all season a gradual process a gradual process is right and Fran has always told us that this kid's a player he's a well-rounded player he can score you know inside outside mid-range game the three-point game he rebounds the basketball and probably your best defender on ball defender that they have and uh, you know he really played well in that Ohio State game if you remember hit some timely jump shots free throw line area a little back cut he made and then caught it in the short corner right side for a little 12 foot jumper there that I think sealed victory for for the Hawkeyes but uh, good to see him he's a consummate team player Gary whatever you need you need him in the starting lineup he, he's in there you need him to come off the bench he's ready to go so uh, you know that's Fran always said just looking for more minutes for Josh Dix 15 points the other night against the Buckeyes. And uh, then there's Tony Perkins, uh, another virtuoso performance with 20 points uh, against the Buckeyes. Seven rebounds, four assists. I mean, that's five consecutive games of 20 or more points for the senior from Indianapolis. He's top 10 in the in the Big Ten in scoring, assists, and steals. He's doing it all. He does do it all. And uh, again, nobody playing uh, as, as good as Tony is right now. And playing with a lot of confidence, sort of a, a, a nonchalant. Just, just not too high, not too low. Tony does his job and love his defense, love his toughness. And you're going to need that confidence coming here on the road. Indeed. The Hawkeyes weathered through... Uh, what, 15 ties and 10 the lead changes in that Ohio State game and got the victory 79-77. Hopefully they can uh, uh, add to that and start a new winning streak here tonight at Penn State. Up next, we've got the Hawkeye Women's Sports Update. It's the Iowa City Sports Commission Women's Sports Update and a U.S. Bank scoreboard, Iowa-Penn State in just a little bit. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Go to the game to get a game program. You can download it now by visiting the game day page on HawkeyeSports.com. That's right. The game program is now digital and it's free. So check it out. Get the roster, the stats, and fascinating stories about today's matchup. Just go to HawkeyeSports.com and click on game day. Right now you are not in the crowded Carver Hawkeye Arena, but you could be. You're not cheering a Hawkeye steal, fast break, and slam dunk, but you could be. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you could win a VIP game day experience to see the Iowa men's basketball team. The countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery lets you be a part of the action. To enter your ticket and see details, visit IALottery.com slash VIP. This is Gary Dolphin. Lennox has been building furnaces and air conditioners here in Iowa since 1895. And Lennox dealers have been selling and installing these high-efficiency Lennox products for just as long. When you call 72 Degrees Comfort Company in Ankeny and the Des Moines metro area, you know you're calling one of the best names in the indoor comfort business. Dave Lennox knows that when you turn to 72 Degrees, your home will be exceptionally comfortable. For the best home comfort system you can buy, it's Lennox and 72 Degrees. Lennox, 72 Degrees, and the Hawkeyes. That's a winning combination. Whether you're building a backyard fence for your family's new best friend or firing up the excavator for your next commercial project, a free and simple call can save you from expensive fines and even save your life. Call 811 at least two days before you start your next project to have underground utility lines located and marked. At MidAmerican Energy, your safety is our number one priority. So make it your priority to call 811 before you dig. Paid for by the customers of MidAmerican Energy. Draft Day Sports Lounge is the ultimate place to watch the game, have some fun, and show off your golfing skills with Top Golf Swing Suite. Top Golf Swing Suite in Draft Day delivers a one of a kind simulation that's fun for golfers and non golfers alike. Pair that with Draft Day's live sports viewing, local craft beers, and delicious menu, and you have a winning pair. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge and Top Golf Swing Suite, just minutes south of Iowa City. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon when you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments. Your bacon call, it's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loan subject to credit approval and analysis. See Credit Union for details. 
Hawkeye Basketball on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Get your medical card online and visit their dispensary for the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Search Bud and Mary's online. We're back at State College at the Bryce Jordan Center. The Penn State Denton Alliance hosting the Hawkeyes in a critical Big Ten game uh, this evening uh, where the standings are concerned. Both are lodged among a, a bunch of teams with six losses. Both are five and six. Uh, so a victory tonight, uh, and the winner makes a significant jump right to near the top five in uh, the Big Ten. Uh, each team has won its uh, last uh, three games on its home court. So uh, hopefully the Hawks are up to breaking that streak uh, tonight. The Iowa City Area Sports Commission is responsible for our community being home to countless amateur sporting events and state tournaments, including volleyball, wrestling, tennis, and much more. The Sports Commission generates significant annual economic impact while adding substantially to our quality of life. The Iowa City Area Sports Commission is a proud presenting sponsor of UI Women's Athletics. Learn more at wegotnext.org. Uh, let's take a peek at the... Uh, Women's sports update for the Hawkeyes. Uh, National Player of the Year candidate Caitlin Clark earned Big Ten Player of the Week honors again. That's a conference best eight times this season. 26 weekly awards for Caitlin's uh, career, which is the most in Big Ten history, eclipsing former Hawkeye Megan Gustafson, who won it 23 times. Clark led the Hawks to a pair of road wins at Northwestern and Maryland last week. In fact, Iowa snapped a seven-game losing streak at the Xfinity Center Saturday, 93-85 over the Terps. The Hawks are 21-2. The last time that happened was in 1995-96. And the Hawks are 7-1 against the AP Top 25 and teams receiving votes this season. That uh, sounds like a number one seed to me. The second-ranked Hawkeyes host Penn State tonight at Carver Hawkeye Arena. That game uh, here on the Hawkeye Radio Network uh, select stations. Uh, right after our con- uh, uh, the conclusion of our coverage, uh, Iowa and Penn State tip off uh, at Carver at 8 o'clock. Let's look at golf uh, down south. Sophomore, another Caitlin, Caitlin Hanna, carded a one over par 200, 217. That's the best 54 hole score of uh, Caitlin's career and paced the University of Iowa women's golf team at the Florida Atlantic Paradise Invitational uh, this past weekend. Hanna finished with a final round 73. En route to her 217 total. The Omaha native had 12 pars and three birdies on Tuesday. And uh, the Hawkeye women next are in action February 25th and 26th at the Westbrook Spring Invitational in Peoria, Arizona. Make sure you mention Arizona there. Uh, the weather may be not uh, ideal in Peoria, Illinois for golf at the end of February. But good luck to the Hawkeye women. That's our University of Iowa, Iowa City Area Sports Commission women's update. A peek at the U.S. Bank scoreboard before we take a break. Uh, Of course, at this early hour, nothing uh, going on. But at U.S. Bank, we know when you invest in a community, the community invests in you. U.S. Bank is committed to providing high-quality, innovative products and services that meet the needs and demands of our customers. The U.S. Bank Equal Housing Lender member, FDIC. This is the only game going tonight in the Big Ten, Iowa and Penn State here in Happy Valley. There are a couple of top 25 uh, games uh, later. We mentioned the Iowa women hosting Penn State back in Iowa City. And later, 8th-ranked Arizona visits Utah uh, in men's hoops, along with uh, 20th-ranked Florida Atlantic visiting Alabama-Birmingham. Up next, we'll hear from Penn State assistant coach and former Penn State star player Joe Crispin. That's next here on the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Are aches, pains, or injuries keeping you on the sidelines? At Athletico, our movement experts are here to help you turn your setbacks into comebacks and create a personalized game plan for your recovery. With no prescription or referral needed, Athletico Physical Therapy is where your comeback story begins. Get started today by scheduling a free assessment at athletico.com. Proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Let's be honest, we all like to be noticed. Picture yourself striding into Kinnick Stadium, radiating both style and comfort, while fellow Hawkeye fans can't help but ask, where'd you get that shirt? 
With pride, you point to the big screen and reply, it's authentic brand. Discover the remarkable difference that apparel with the authentic brand label brings. Ask for it by name at your favorite boutique, spirit shop, or retailer. Or shop online at authentic-brand.com. It's time for a change in your style. It's time for authentic brand. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. The hotel at Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel. The Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, the area's premier realtor. And Melrose Meadows, voted Iowa City's best retirement community. The hotel at Kirkwood Center, a AAA four-diamond luxury property located just a few minutes from the Eastern Iowa Airport in downtown Cedar Rapids. Whether you're visiting for business or pleasure, the hotel is happy to welcome you. To make reservations, visit the hotel at Kirkwood.com. Around here, Jack Frost nips more than just your nose. That's why the Midwest gets Honda. Dependable, all-wheel drive, with heated steering wheel and seats to keep Jack Frost off your seat, which will make it very happy. And since it's no fun to gas up in this weather, isn't it cool that Honda has such legendary fuel efficiency? New Hondas are arriving, but so is Mr. Frost. So see your Central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. Lots of insurance companies make promises about how much you can save if you switch over to them. Well, here's our promise. With the West Bend policy, you can save everything. Every memory. Every detail. Everything you've worked so hard for. Once it comes time to actually make a claim, a cheap insurance policy can really cost you. Why not protect everything that matters with a policy from West Bend? Because the worst brings out our best. Visit thesilverlining.com to find out more. Hi, it's your friend, social media. You know where I showcase the cool life of sports stars and friends. But don't fall for the editing and good lighting, because we all have struggles and challenges, like with alcohol or drug use, gambling, or our mental health. You know, talking about it is a sign of strength. Maybe you don't know who to talk to? Your Life Iowa can give you resources or treatment options. Get free 24-7 confidential support. Call, text, or chat online at yourlifeiowa.org. A message from Iowa HHS. Welcome back to the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show. Biodiesel, moving Iowa forward. And we're back on the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show. Bobby Hansen uh, joining me, Gary Dolphin, and our engineer producer, uh, Corey Sheets. Uh, the Hawkeyes at 13 and 9, facing 11 and 11 Penn State. And that doesn't sound real glossy, but uh, the Nittany Lions are playing their best basketball by far, as you'll hear in just a minute. First off, congratulations to our United Healthcare Small Business Spotlight winner this week, Dayton Meats, a full service meat locker owned and operated by the Dayton family since 1959. Offering award winning smoked meats and sausages. They're located just off of uh, I 80, a mile mile north of I-80 at exit 191, halfway between Iowa City and Des Moines. Come visit Dayton Meats. United Healthcare is a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Well, the name Crispin should be familiar to you if you followed Penn State basketball at all through the years. Uh, Joe Crispin uh, and John Crispin. John's on ESPN and uh, XM Radio a lot with the talk show. Joe Crispin is in his first year as assistant to uh, head coach uh, Mike Rhodes. They both were outstanding players in the early 2000s, and uh, Joe Crispin no doubt is a big reason why these Penn State guards have played so well, especially late, counting uh, road victories at Rutgers and at Indiana. A 15-point win over uh, Rutgers uh, in Piscataway and then a 14-point victory at uh, Assembly Hall in Bloomington uh, last week. And that's the first time uh, a Penn State team has won in, uh, at Indiana. And uh, Coach uh, Crispin says the reasons uh, for Penn State's improved play are varied. Well, I think the guys are starting to understand what it takes. I mean, you're going to suffer any season, but you're definitely going to suffer when you have a new group. I mean, this is a brand new group, bringing them together. You, I wish you could just put it in the microwave and, and it just pops out in a couple minutes, but it usually doesn't work that way. It almost never works that way. So it's we like to say hey, when we were losing some games early, it's disappointing but not surprising. And naturally, the other thing about us is the way we play, similar to the Hawkeyes, is it requires some chemistry. So it's kind of like some slow cooking. 
you got to put it in the crock pot and, and let it simmer a little bit. And now it's starting to come together. And, you know, we'll see if we can sustain it. How about uh, Kanye? Uh, Cleary, second in points per game increase in Division One, like 14.7 over a year ago. Yep. Uh, phenomenal. Yeah, he's a really talented kid. I mean, a really talented scorer. He's one of those guys that's the exception to the rule, right? Like all these uh, guys who say, well, you can't shoot that shot or you can't shoot this shot. And we go, well, he can because he makes 50% of them. Um, so, you know, he's a sophomore. He's had his ups and downs, but he's improved. He's a very talented kid. And we, I think we've done a good job overall creating an environment where he can be the, he, a dangerous scorer because that's what he is. Scores out of the offense, scores in transition. And that's how he gets a lot of his points. And then there's Ace Baldwin. I mean, his offensive numbers are one thing, but three steals a game, uh, that's not easy to do in the Big Ten. He's an incredible defender. I, at least once a game, I bump our, uh, you know, our associate head coach, Jamal Brunt, and go, that's incredible. And it's usually when he gets a hand on a ball or he comes out of nowhere. Um, you know, he is a talented offensive kid, too, but really started slow. And I think, you know, a lot of these guys, when you have transfers, you go to a new environment, you got to kind of find your flow and your feel. So even though he's a player of the year guy in the A-10, it, it took him a little bit. And now I think he's starting to find his stride. And then the big guy, uh, Kudras in the middle, uh, he's matured nicely. Big Q. I mean, he scores the ball. Um, I, I, no one's ever accused him of being a pass-first big. Um, but when you get it into him, it goes in. So you can justify those righty hooks that he loves to have. But he's been a good presence for us, fifth-year guy, um, very consistent, kind of easygoing guy from Nigeria, and he puts the ball in the basket. That's all it that counts. That's all that matters. All right, what about the Hawkeyes uh, tonight? Uh, they like to get out and go. It's amazing to me, and watching them all years, they don't turn the ball over. No, and that's the biggest thing. Between us and them, they, neither team is turning the ball over. I think that'll be a big key tonight. Um, you know, naturally, we're leading the league and, and turning people over. So it'll be interesting because they got they got smart guys. They play well together. I love their pace. I mean, I've watched the Hawkeyes since I was in school, and I always tune in, and I've told, told Coach that, uh, you know, I love watching them play because they're all offensive oriented, full court oriented, and so are we. We might emphasize the defense a little bit more, but we want to play in the full court. So I think it'll be a very interesting game to see similar styles of play, uh, see how it mixes tonight and see how it goes. Welcome to the coaching ranks of the Big Ten. Uh, it's a pleasure. I love this is this is where I love to be. I, I love my little life in D3, but I, I feel a little more at home in the Big Ten. Joe will see you in Iowa City in a couple weeks. Thanks so much. Sounds good. Thank you. Big Q is what they call uh, the veteran uh, 6'11", Kudus Wahab. He owns career marks of 1,238 points and 913 rebounds. And that number ranks 16th amongst uh, active Division I players. And he's just one of 19 Division I players uh, with upwards of 1,000 career points and 900 career rebounds. Uh, he'll be a load in the middle tonight for the Hawkeyes. Owen Freeman has to stay out of foul trouble. Where have you heard that before? Hey, it's a new season at Kohl's with everyday styles at great prices. You can get more of what you want for less. Find go-tos for going everywhere and perfect picks for your home. Shop Coles and Coles.com. Up next, we'll chat with Hawkeye head coach Fran McCaffrey. He's presented by your Iowa John Deere dealers. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just needs someone to listen. 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. The silly moments, the proud moments, even the hard moments, they're what make life remarkable. And they're why Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield is here for every moment. Committed to making healthcare better, more affordable, with more choices for care. And service and coverage that give you peace of mind no matter what comes your way. So you can show up for every tender moment, every brave moment, and every wouldn't miss it for the world moment. Knowing that Blue is here for you. Go to wellmark.com slash every moment to find a plan right for you. Are aches, pains, or injuries keeping you on the sidelines? At Athletico, our movement experts are here to help you turn your setbacks into comebacks and create a personalized game plan for your recovery. With no prescription or referral needed, Athletico Physical Therapy is where your comeback story begins. Get started today by scheduling a free assessment at athletico.com. 
proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area. Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Royal Flooring has everything you and your home needs from the floors up. We proudly serve Des Moines area homes as your local one-stop shop for flooring, tile appliances, cabinetry, countertops, and more. Visit shoproyalflooring.com to give your home the royal treatment today. True cannabis products like concentrates, vapes, tablets, creams are available legally in Iowa, but only at licensed medical dispensaries. Get a med card online, quick and easy. I got mine in less than a day. Chronic pain is the most common condition. Search for Bud and Mary's online or call their dispensary to learn how you can get your med card. Bud and Mary's grows real cannabis, not hemp. That means their products contain real THC with no percentage limits. Find an Iowa licensed dispensary near you at BudMary.com. This is Gary Dolphin. Lennox has been building furnaces and air conditioners here in Iowa since 1895. And Lennox dealers have been selling and installing these high-efficiency Lennox products for just as long. When you call 72 Degrees Comfort Company in Ankeny and the Des Moines metro area, you know you're calling one of the best names in the indoor comfort business. Dave Lennox knows that when you turn to 72 Degrees, your home will be exceptionally comfortable. For the best home comfort system you can buy, it's Lennox and 72 Degrees. Lennox, 72 Degrees, and the Hawkeyes. That's a winning combination. Welcome back to Bryce Gordon Center at the Basketball from Lurfield. Welcome back to the Bryce Jordan Center at Penn State University, where tonight the Hawkeyes and the Nittany Lions resume their Big Ten rivalry. Uh, over the history of this series, the Hawks uh, lead at all time 33 victories, 20 for the Nittany Lions. Uh, it began back in 1955. Now, Penn State's won the two straight in the series, both here at uh, Happy Valley. Nittany Lions won a heartbreaker last year, 83-79 on New Year's Day. And then in 2021-22, it was a 90-86 double overtime loss for the Hawkeyes. I have a looking to inflict some pain on the Nittany Lions tonight. And if they do so, uh, they're going to have to do it with Tony Perkins in the lead as usual. What a season. What a second half of the season Tony is uh, in right now. He scored... 20 points or more in five consecutive games. That's the first by a Hawkeye since Keegan Murray three years ago. Fran McCaffrey's more than willing to talk about his star guard. Coach McCaffrey is brought to you by your Iowa John Deere dealers, uh, including our friends at Van Wall Equipment out in Omaha. Fran, if uh, the All Big Ten ballot was due today, uh, Tony Perkins would be a first-team pick in my, my mind, no doubt, probably a lot of others as well in all areas has been, has been spectacular. And I think, you know, in his mind, that was the challenge for him this year. He was spectacular last year, but he had some games where he wasn't as aggressive, wasn't as dominant. And that's how he challenged himself over the summer, in the fall. And, and you're seeing the results. I'm really proud of him. Therefore, are you running more sets for him uh, with the ball in his hands? Well, we pretty much gave him the ball. You know, last year he played a little bit on the ball and a lot off the ball like he did the year before. So we just keep put the ball in his hands and trusted him to run the team. And right on cue, uh, Josh Dix has uh, gotten better in most areas uh, every game he started. Yeah, the thing with Josh, it was just a matter of, of, of getting that first year under his belt, coming off the injury. And uh, he had a great summer and a great fall and uh, had the opportunity to start. You know, when Patrick got hurt, has done really well. 
and Patrick's been great off the bench. And you know, the thing about Josh is he's a versatile guy. He can play the point, he can play the off guard position, and he can guard guys, you know, anywhere from six one to six seven. Here we are, two thirds of the way through the season, and yet uh, Josh and the team weathered through 15 lead changes, 10 ties against Ohio State the other day. That uh, that tells you a lot about the mental toughness, doesn't it? It does. And it also tells you a lot about the league. It seems like every game is that way, you know, with uh, the two previous games that we had. So, you know, the important thing is that we keep our composure, especially in a game like tonight. Coach, uh, speaking of tonight, let's get the scouting report on uh, on Penn State. Uh, Coach Rhodes in his first year, he's brought in nine new players and starts with that guard court, doesn't it? Those two guys are a handful. You know, he brought Baldwin with him from VCU. He's the Atlantic 10 player of the year. Really good player. Clary was a good freshman last year, but he was playing a little bit behind Pickett. Now it's you know his opportunity to shine. He's averaging like 19 points a game. So there's a lot of points. A lot of activity. Both of those guys are great in ball screens. They can play fast. They can manufacture baskets. But it's not just those two guys. They've got a, a, a solid core of people that create issues, not only with what they can do on offense, but more importantly, what they do on defense. How about the big fella, Wahab? Uh, he's well-traveled, but he's back here at Penn State uh, in the middle. What do you like about his game? Well, he just keeps getting better. I mean, he was limited, I thought, when he played at Maryland. Uh, but he's really worked on his game offensively. He's much more aggressive. He was always big and strong and physical and could rebound. But uh, you can tell he's a veteran guy who knows how to play. Well, Coach, here we are. Uh, nothing guaranteed behind, uh, beyond the next 10 games, including one of the Big Ten tournament. Uh, uh, and, and I know this is the type of year where you, you're, you're careful with the guys physically in practice and how long you go. What do you want to see in this last third? Just want to see him continue to, to compete, uh, process the game plan, uh, maintain composure, uh, execute what we want done, continue to be aggressive offensively, but make good decisions. Don't turn the ball over, move and share the ball. If you do those things, you get a shot every night. Well, you got to be pleased with the way the guys are taking care of the ball. No question. And, and tonight will probably be the greatest example of our ability to do that against a team that runs and jumps in the backcourt, goes 1-2-1-1, one, 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 uh, really is up in your space, uh, very physical, and the fact that we have multiple guys that can handle the ball should bode well for us. Thanks, friend. Appreciate it, Dolph. Yeah, the Hawkeyes are third in the Big Ten and eighth nationally, averaging 18 and a half assists per game. And the Hawks take excellent care of the basketball. They're, they're leading the Big Ten in that category and second nationally, nearly a two to one assist to turnover ratio. And they'll need that uh, that number tonight. Our pregame visit with Iowa coach Fran McCaffrey is brought to you by Van Wall Equipment. Nothing runs like a deer, especially when supported by the team at Van Wall Equipment. Stop by one of their locations and learn how to farm better. Work smarter and play harder when you run with Van Wall and John Deere. As a proud sponsor of the Iowa Hawkeyes, U.S. Cellular wants you to make the most of today by choosing game day traditions first and scrolling later. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Up next, Bobby Hansen has his club car wash keys to a Hawkeye victory. This is Iowa basketball from Lurfield. The big game. Family. Friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. Draft Day Sports Lounge is the ultimate place to watch the game, have some fun, and show off your golfing skills with Top Golf Swing Suite. Top Golf Swing Suite in Draft Day delivers a one of a kind simulation that's fun for golfers and non golfers alike. Pair that with Draft Day's live sports viewing, local craft beers, and delicious menu, and you have a winning pair. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge and Top Golf Swing Suite, just minutes south of Iowa City. When it comes to your health, you need the full picture. That means the right diagnosis and the right treatment right from the start. I'm Aaron Bowes, pediatric neurologist with University of Iowa Healthcare. Here, we're working together every day to advance medicine so you can get the best care. With more research, more clinical trials, and more treatment options than anywhere else in the state, the University of Iowa Healthcare is changing medicine and changing lives. 
Learn more at UIHC.org. With the Hawkeyes, every pass, shot, layup, and score is more than just part of the game. It's a testament to the teamwork, elbow grease, and can-do attitude it takes to win. In the same way, Case IH knows every successful farm is more than just a farm. It's the product of top-notch tillage, planting, harvesting, hay, and forage equipment at the hands of hardworking growers. Get a slam dunk by visiting your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash Hawkeyes to learn more. Go Hawks! How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, Melrose Meadows. Voted Iowa City's best retirement community, the Hotel at Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel, and the Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, the area's premier realtor. Melrose Meadows, voted Iowa City's best retirement community, garage, indoor pool, and more. Visit MelroseMeadows.com for more information. This is the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show, delivering solutions for every life, every day. Off and Bobby Hans. Opened in 1996. Uh, I think Neil Diamond might have opened this place. Uh, or maybe, maybe it was the Eagles. Can't remember. I, there's a picture hanging on the wall out in the, one of the lobbies. That, uh, it's a multi-purpose uh, facility. It, it can seat between 15 and 20,000 for basketball. Penn State has had trouble drawing consistently, but uh, you know what? Uh, Mike Rhodes, his first year, he's making a point indeed. Uh, let's include that in our Bobby Hansen Club Car Wash keys to a Hawkeye victory now. Iowa Penn State headed for a 6 p.m. tip. Bobby's keys to the game are sponsored by the official car wash of the Iowa Hawkeyes Club Car Wash. With unlimited membership starting at just $20 a month, there's no better time to join the club. Visit clubcarwash.com and find a location nearest you. Well, let's hope the Hawks can make their own sweet music tonight. You got it, Dolphy. And uh, the keys, that, you know, there's a lot of keys to this game because it's a very important game. Both teams sitting there in the middle of the pack, five and six. You want to win this game, get back to 500. But you're going to have to face some serious uh, pressure, full court defense here uh, by Penn State here tonight. So my number one key is how will you handle, how will you handle the Penn State pressure? pressure defense they love to press up get physical defensively put their hands on you put the body get all over all over you all over the court so they average almost 16 turnover turning the other team over per game Gary so that, that, that's a big number right there you got to keep your turnovers for the Hawkeyes down to your average less than 10 a game and when you attack that pressure you might throw it over the top but you got to know that big Wahab is back there he averages a couple of block shots a game so you got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them and go back out there and run your offense so you got to be be uh, specific a uh, particular when you attack their pressure play through physical defense key number one the second key is a uh, ball screen defense whether it's Ace Baldwin or Kanye Clary Penn State uses a variety of single double high ball screens to free up the drivers and uh, the shooters uh, the, the little kick out scores uh, on that so you got to watch how the Hawkeyes are defending it's not just the guards getting over those screens but it's the big guys communicating on the backside Owen Freeman Laji Dembele uh, whoever uh, Ben Cricky out there on the high screen so you got to help your guards through that wall off and kind of keep them isolated on one side and know who the scores are and know who the passers are third key Gary going to be rebounding paint scores Penn State not a good rebounding team uh, they're, they're minus seven in Big Ten play so Big Ten teams have had their way with them. But you can't let them come in here because they are playing with a tremendous amount of confidence after those two road victories. So can't have them come in here tonight and Wahab have his way in, in the inside. He's a handful, we know, but uh, you, you got to put a body on him. Get him out of the paint. Rebound when you can. Rebound and run. Get your fast break 
going uh, in this basketball game. The other thing I thought about, this is not a great three-point shooting team. They do take a lot of threes. They made 12 against Indiana, but uh, when they're, they're playing with great confidence in there, so you've got to be in their space early. And uh, after the two road win, wins at the Rutgers and at Indiana, 12 threes they made uh, down in Bloomington at Assembly Hall. So the other thing you got to have right here, not a ton of people in this arena. you got to get off to a quick start. Play, play ahead in this basketball game. Create your own energy. Yeah, get the lead before the uh, late dinner arriving crowd uh, files into the Bryce Jordan Center. Yeah, you mentioned the 12 threes they made at Assembly Hall in Bloomington. The 12 for 22, by far their best shooting performance from distance on the season. Uh, Indiana had an 11-point lead late in the first half, and uh, Mike Rhodes, just what a great display of toughness and, and grit. They came back and won it by 14. This is the fourth time they've ever won, uh, the Penn State program ever won at Assembly Hall, and the first time since 2014. So this is a, a program on the rise, and they've got nine transfers from seven different schools, Bobby, and Mike Rhodes' first year. He got here, I think he said he had two or three players. Yeah, when, it's taken him a while. You heard Crispin talk about it. You know, throw it in the microwave, and it all of a sudden <laughs> comes out baked, and uh, he's done a nice job. And they, like I said, they are playing with confidence. And you mentioned the threes, Gary. One guy off the bench, let's pay attention to, Number five, Jamil Brown, he uh, is a sophomore. He was here last year, but he only averages four points. But in that game at Indiana, he was four out of five from deep. Had 14 points total. Bobby Hansen's keys to the game, courtesy of Club Car Wash. Visit clubcarwash.com. Find a location nearest you. Hawk fans, experience your home away from home at Coralville's finest all-sweet hotels. That would be the Homewood Suites and Home 2 Suites by Hilton, each offering guests spacious suites, complimentary breakfast, 24-hour fitness center, a pool, hot tub, guest laundry, and convenient locations. Let the warm and friendly stabs at both the Homewood Suites and Home 2 Suites by Hilton take care of you and your family when you next visit Hawkeye Country. The Mid-American Energy starting lineups in the Farmer State Bank tip-off are right around the corner. Iowa, Penn State. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. The action with the Fight for Iowa podcast. Join host Gary Dolphin as he takes you behind the scenes with Hawkeye coaches, athletes, and alumni. Tune in weekly on HawkeyeSports.com, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, and more. Your front row seat to Hawkeye Athletics. American Equity salutes today's hero of the game. As a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season, please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. Hey Hawk fans, this message is for anyone looking for that first job, or maybe a job that's actually fun. The Wigan Pen in Ankeny is hiring. The Wigan Pen is locally owned and offers flexible hours with competitive pay and a fun environment. Stop by any time, Wednesday through Sunday, to apply. The Wigan Pen in Ankeny, serving tantalizing sandwiches, soup, salads, and famous signature pizzas from the Flying Tomato to Chicago Deep Dish, and quenching your thirst with a full bar and a wide selection of beer on tap while you watch the game. The Wigan Pen Pizza Pub. Eat, drink, work, and play. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Facing a criminal charge or complicated family law situation, Car Law Firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. Hawkeye Basketball on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Get your medical card online and visit their dispensary for the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Search Bud and Mary's online. Hawkeye Basketball from Penn State tonight. Let's give you the Mid-American Energy starting lineup sponsored by Mid-American, longtime supporter of Hawkeye Basketball. Mid-American Energy makes reliability a slam dunk with a balanced energy mix of wind, solar, and other sources that ensure you always have the power you count on. Learn more at midamericanenergy.com. For the Hawkeyes, they'll start Josh Dixon, a guard, 6'5", sophomore from Council Bluffs, Lincoln, 
Josh uh, averaging seven points, couple rebounds, couple of assists, but averaging double figures the last several weeks. Tony Perkins is playing better than TP, the 6'4 senior from Indianapolis. Now Iowa's leading score, 16 points a game, four rebounds, four assists. Peyton Sanford, guard forward out of Waukee, the 6'7 junior is putting up 15 and 7. Ben Cricky talked to Ben at the hotel today, very frustrated over his recent shooting slump. I said, keep firing, lefty. Uh, we know you've got the touch. And he's still putting up 15 points, five rebounds a game. The 6'9 grad transfer from Edmonton, Alberta. And Owen Freeman. Owen, stay on the floor tonight. The 6'10 freshman from Moline who's been pestered by foul issues, averaging 11.6 rebounds. The seven-time Big Ten freshman of the week. For the Penn State Nittany Lions, 11 and 11, like Iowa, 5 and 6 in the Big Ten. The Nittany Lions are averaging 76 a game, giving up 73 points. Ace Baldwin Jr., the A-10 Atlantic 10 Player of the Year last season with Coach Rhodes at Virginia Commonwealth, will start at a guard, averaging 14 points, 5 assists, the 6'1", 190-pounder from Baltimore. DeMarco Dunn will start at a guard. 6'5", uh, and a junior from Tucson, Arizona, came here from North Carolina. Nick Kern out of St. Louis, also a transfer from VCU, is a 6'6", 200-pound guard, averages 8-4. and four. Kudis Wahab at center, 6'11", 245, from Lagos, Nigeria. Started out at Georgetown, then went to Maryland. He's averaging 10 and 8. And Zach Hicks, a 6'8", junior from Camden, New Jersey, will start at a forward, averaging 7 points, 3 rebounds. Those are the Mid-American Energy starting lineups. The Farmers State Bank tip-off of Iowa Penn State is next. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash corn grows Iowa. When the game goes into overtime. But. The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink. Easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Your husband is pretty handy to have around. He makes the world's best mac and cheese. Lunch is ready. He's in the Tickle Monster Hall of Fame. <laughs> and he can teach anyone how to throw strikes. But a busted pipe and a basement full of water? Honey, I think we need a plumber. He's a little out of his league. That's where a homeowner's policy from Shelter Insurance comes in handy. We'll help get your house back in order and your husband back to what he does best. <laughs> Find an agent at shelterinsurance.com. We're your shield. We're your shelter. Draft Day Sports Lounge is the ultimate place to watch the game, have some fun, and show off your golfing skills with Top Golf Swing Suite. Top Golf Swing Suite in Draft Day delivers a one of a kind simulation that's fun for golfers and non golfers alike. Pair that with Draft Day's live sports viewing, local craft beers, and delicious menu, and you have a winning pair. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge and Top Golf Swing Suite, just minutes south of Iowa City. It takes hard work to be the best in the game. Planning, commitment, resilience, sweat. That's why Old Dominion Freight Line, the number one national LTL carrier for quality, works hard to be the best in the game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in theirs. Old Dominion Freight Line, official freight carrier of Iowa Athletics, helping the world keep promises. Hi, it's your friend, social media. You know where I showcase the cool life of sports stars and friends. But don't fall for the editing and good lighting, because we all have struggles and challenges, like with alcohol or drug use, gambling, or our mental health. You know, talking about it is a sign of strength. Maybe you don't know who to talk to? Your Life Iowa can give you resources or treatment options. Get free 24-7 confidential support. Call, text, or chat online at yourlifeiowa.org. A message from Iowa HHS. 
on the Hawkeye Sports Network. From Learfield, Hawkeye Basketball is brought to you by 988 Lifeline. If you or someone you know needs support now, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. West Bend, the silver lining. Mid-American Energy. Look up, look out for overhead power lines. Visit midamericanenergy.com for electrical safety tips. Bud Light. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Iowa John Deere dealers. Proud sponsors of Hawkeye Basketball. By your local Ford dealers. And by Authentic Brand. Unique Hawkeye apparel at Authentic-Brand.com. It's game time. Out of Peyton Sanford. Across the court to McCaffrey. Here's Sanford for three more. Yes, sir! 54. And a foul. You're listening to healthy coverage of the Iowa Hawkeyes with Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Here's Gary Dolphin and Bobby Hansen. At State College, Pennsylvania, in the Bryce Jordan Center, we're ready to play Big Ten basketball. The Hawkeyes 13 and 9, 5 and 6 in the league. Penn State likewise 5 and 6, 11 aside uh, overall. Before we get underway, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. Station ID time on the Hawkeye Radio Network. You're listening to Iowa Basketball. Thanks for joining us on the Hawkeye Radio Network, 50 stations strong. And, of course, we couldn't do it without you, the listener. Our opening tip is sponsored by Farmers State Bank. Earn $250 when you open an eligible checking account at the Tiffin branch or online. Get rewarded for banking with FSB. FSB, Farmers State Bank, at myfsbonline.com. That's myfsbonline.com for complete details. Subject to approval, minimum $50 deposit, requires e-statements and direct deposit. Member FDIC. Penn State, first-year head coach Mike Rhodes. Been at Rice prior to a a four- or five-year stop at Virginia Commonwealth. Uh, That was at Rice and then Virginia Commonwealth. And what a job. He came in here, Bobby. He had two scholarship players. Uh, Jalen Pickett, Seth Lundy, Miles Dredd all went off to professional basketball. The three high school commits that Micah Shrewsbury had before he left for Notre Dame, they left. They jumped ship. And so uh, Coach Rhodes has brought in nine players from uh, seven different uh, universities. And I'm talking uh, two guys with him from VCU, Ace Baldwin most notably. But uh, Georgetown, uh, University of Missouri, Kansas City, North Carolina, two players from North Carolina. So it's not like he doesn't have talent, but when you bring in nine new faces, I mean, you've been on teams uh, in the NBA with a lot of new faces. It, you, you're waiting for chemistry and mojo to arrive, and it doesn't arrive overnight. It does not, Gary, and it takes a while, and it takes practice. It takes, uh, it takes having, uh, you know, success is what it does, and get that locker room cohesive in there. And they've certainly had that their last two road games, and that will bring a team together. They knock off Rutgers, and they go down to Indiana on a comeback victory and knock them off. So a dangerous team here tonight, and you got to get off to a good start. And their main player, though, right here without um, Kanye Clary in the starting lineup, Ace Baldwin Jr. Make sure you guard him, number one. A little crafty left-hander will sting you from the outside. will get you uh, going in the open court and take you to the basket. But the pressure defense is a story this first half here. Can you handle the pressure D without turning it over? The officials tonight, the uh, umpires Paul Zelk. The referees are Jeffrey Anderson and Deldre Carr. So we're set to go. Wahab is jumping center with Owen Freeman, and Owen out jumps the big fella. Doesn't really get off the floor, does Waha, but the Hawks have, that's okay. The Hawks have the first look in the uh, offensive end. Here's Sanford, step back jumpers well short, uh, just inside the foul line. Looked like he lost his balance after he made the catch and the rebound and run out to Penn State. Here's Ace Baldwin, or check that, Nick Kern driving at left baseline, all the way in, shot up, no good, off the glass, rebounded by Wahab. 6'11", lanky Wahab has it out top. Here's a three, good by DeMarco Dunn. Averages seven points a game. He's got three out of the gate. Come off an offensive rebound, Gary Wahab just stayed with it and scrapped it away from the Hawks and gets them off first three of the game. Three nothing. We played not quite a minute, 45 seconds. Cricky wants the ball down left of the lane. Lefty goes baseline right. 
into the paint. Shot fake, shot up, no good. Took a lap around the iron, and Ben Cricky's shooting woes continue. Here come Nick Kern with another rebound for Penn State. He's got the first two boards of the game. 18.55 to play. Here's a drive inside. Scoop layup. Good. DeMarco Dunn has got all five points. Took Josh Dix in deep that time. Made it look easy. 5 nothing Penn State. Must think they have an advantage with Josh Dix guarding in there. He just took him off the dribble and no help from the Hawks inside. You got to give him some support. Owen Freeman trying to get the ball to Tony Perkins, but what a job by Baldwin. He's fronting him. Nine to shoot. Here's Dix. Muscles his way inside. Shot is up and good and counted a blocking foul called on Penn State. Nice spin dribble move in the lane. About five, six, seven feet away from the basket. And a little suspended jump shot in midair draws the and one for Dix. And they pick up the foul on DeMarco Dunn, the man that scored the first two baskets of the game for Penn State. Nice job by Josh Dix. Isolation move and a little spin over the top. Dix for the and one. Hawks are on the board. Make it 5-3. The and one is good for Dix. And Josh brings the Hawks back to within two in the blink of an eye. 18-20 to play in the opening half. Hawks with a soft 1-2-2 pressure. Baldwin penetrates. Gets it to Zach Hicks on the right wing. There's a knife through that Hawkeye zone. Here's DeMarco Dunn. He's got all five of their points. Hands it off to Baldwin. Holds up top of the circle. Inside to Wahop. Jump hook is good. Well executed in the half court there by the Nittany Lions. Yeah, good little uh, offensive set they had and finally brought the big fella Wahab right to the middle of the paint about eight feet in front of the rim and scores with the hook over the top. He's got arms like a pole vaulter. Here's a drive and a score by Owen Freeman. Nice find as Penn State came with a double team on uh, Tony Perkins and Owen was left free right of the lane. He spun to the glass and laid it in off the square. Now 7-5 Penn State. 17.30 to play first half. Here's Owen Freeman trying to defend. Good job on Wahab. He misses the left-handed hook, and it's rebounded, cleared by Peyton Sanford. Peyton drives all the way in deep. Bounce pass to Cricky, right of the lane. He bangs into uh, his defender. Shot up and good, and a blocking foul called again on uh, Penn State. This time it's on Nick Kern. Hawks get it tied at seven and a chance to take the lead. I like the offense right there. you got to get Ben Cricky involved offensively or you know, he just doesn't give you too much. But that time he went through Nick Kern, got the, uh, took the hit, took the physical defense, gets the basket. Nice job, Ben Cricky. That one dropped. The first one didn't. Now Ben has a chance to give Iowa its first lead. Free throw on the way good. He's 74% from the foul line. Of course, Iowa, excellent free throw shooting team. They've been there twice and made them both. Iowa 8, Penn State 7. Dix at the front of the press. Near steal by Peyton Sanford, but taken away by Zach Hicks, the 6'8 junior. Was at Temple before coming to uh, Penn State. Now directing traffic left wing is Nick Kern. And a steal by Tony Perkins. A bad pass stolen away. Tony with a one-arm dunk at the other end as he picked off DeMarco Dunn. A bad pass by Kern. Turnover Penn State. 10-7 Iowa. I like the defensive intensity that time out of Tony Perkins. He was overplaying that and just picked it off and went in for the dunk. Here's a deep three. Good. Way out on the left wing by Zach Hicks. 31% from three. But Penn State continues its hot streak. 12 trays at Indiana. They got two already in the game. Tie game at 10. Here's Cricky. Reverse dribble move. Gets it to Perkins. They're really bodying up on Tony. Respecting the way he's played the last several weeks. Now a screen up. Tony lost the ball. Uh, Owen Freeman came and set a screen. Tony just lost the dribble. Got a lot of contact there and he couldn't hang on to the basketball. Turnover Iowa. Game tied at 10. There's a curl move by Ace Baldwin. High post left. Throws it inside to Wahab, and he traveled with it. Oh, check that. They're going to get a foul called on Iowa. Ben Crick, he gets called for the shove. Looked like he stumbled into the travel first, but he did. He got a little help, apparently, from Ben Crickey. Tie game at 10 with 15.57 to play in the first half. We've come to our first officials timeout. It'll be Penn State basketball when we return. This is Hawkeye basketball, courtesy of Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. 
Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. At MidAmerican Energy, our 1.6 million customers depend on our energy 24-7. That's why we work 24-7 to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. To keep our 99.9% reliability record, we're enhancing our technology, improving resiliency, and investing in critical infrastructure. We're generating power from all available resources to cover any increases in demand. And we're innovating to ensure you always have the energy you need. MidAmerican Energy, obsessively, relentlessly at your service. The silly moments, the proud moments, even the hard moments. They're what make life remarkable. And they're why Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield is here for every moment. Committed to making healthcare better, more affordable, with more choices for care. And service and coverage that give you peace of mind no matter what comes your way. So you can show up for every tender moment, every brave moment, and every wouldn't miss it for the world moment. Knowing that blue is here for you. Go to walmart.com slash every moment to find a plan right for you. 15.57 to play, opening half. Just underway at Happy Valley. Both teams have hit four of their first six shots. The difference is Penn State has two threes. And the Hawks are 0 for 0, 0 for 0, haven't even attempted a three-point goal. But the Hawks do have a couple free throws. So it all evens out in the end, and we're far from the end. And a hot start for both teams. Uh, Penn State scored the first five. Iowa then scored the next seven. And a three-point goal by Penn State has knotted it up at 10. Yeah, it's going to be close. It's going to be close all game long. You can see these teams are going to be fighting at it. The, the defense, you, again, you got to not turn the basketball over against Penn State. The Hawks doing a good job so far. Just the one Tony Perkins turnover in there and uh, rebound number. There haven't been a lot of missed shots with the shooting. You just mentioned, Gary, four out of six both teams. But points in the paint. Hawkeyes winning that battle eight to four. That's a good start. Ace Baldwin will inbound underneath left of the goal as we get back to action. Comes into Zach Hicks. Right back to Baldwin. He's got it right of the circle. Hits a cutting up, oh, knocked away. DeMarco Dunn was the intended target, knocked away. I think Dick's got a hand on it, but Tony stumbles and travels on the run out. Boy, Tony's off to a rough start. Hawks have two turnovers, both on Tony Perkins. Slammed the brakes on yeah. and was going to throw it and give it up, but, but the uh, he blew a shoe, as they say. Yeah, they, and the, the guy in, in the game that was playing defense, Kanye Cleary, his first game back after a couple of a missed game with a broken bone in his uh, nose or his face in there, but he was right there, and Tony just couldn't get stopped. Kanye Cleary, who's averaging almost 18 points a game out of Virginia Beach, he's in the game now, not wearing a mask. We're used to seeing him with a mask on. So Penn State basketball after the Iowa turnover and into the game is Demetrius Lilly. He has it. Here's a three from the right wing. No good. Offered up by by a Jameel Brown. The Hawkeyes get the board. And hustle down floor does Penn State and prevents the break. Perkins, a screen from Freeman. Tony holds up. Now right side Peyton Sanford. A catch and shoot and a score. A three-point goal by Peyton Sanford. And the Hawkeyes regain the lead 13-10 on the strength of their first triple of the night. Big time shot, uh, Peyton Sanford. He was closely guarded, just rose up over the top, used his length and height, and knocks down his first three of the game. Clary with a left-handed high bounce dribble. Right wing to Hicks. Now they go right of the lane, knocked away from Wahab. Nice job, Freeman. Hawks running out a dunk by Dix. A Dix dunk. It's 15-10, Iowa with five lightning fast points. With defense, doing it with defense. Tony Perkins, another steal. Found Josh Dix on the left wing, streaking in there. And Penn State, lazy, getting back. Easy dunk for Josh. Hawks up four, uh, up five with 14-40 to play. Here's a step-back jumper. No good. Tough shot. Really good defense. The miss by Hicks left of the lane. Perkins streaks down the floor. Hits Cricky in, in transition. And a layup is good by Ben Cricky. The Hawks have the Penn State heads uh, doing 360s on their shoulders and a timeout is asked for by uh, head coach Mike Rhodes this will be a 30 second timeout the Hawks have broken away with a 7-0 run again and lead it 17-10 doing it with defense turning over Penn State that's their third turnover in there and the Hawks once you turn it once you, the Hawks get the ball on a turnover they're looking to score on you Penn State again late getting back in the cricky layup put the Hawks up seven Hawk fans you can drive your team to victory this season by filling up with unlit at 88 with quick rewards at any quick star location. Fuel up with eight gallons or more of unleaded 88, and you're automatically entered for a chance to win great prize packages throughout the season. Quick star, a proud partner of Hawkeye basketball. It's good to see Ben Cricky get 
going offensively and incredibly 6 7 240 he's leading the charge down the floor he knows when there's an easy one to be had right there and uh, with this timeout the hawks can employ some their pressure one two two and they jump penn state right here baldwin has trouble getting the ball up the floor now gives it to a teammate along the sideline here's a long three good from way out in the right wing by jameel brown he shoots uh, 39 percent from three he's capable well, that chops the Iowa lead from seven to four. Three threes for Penn State. Ricky passes up a baseline jumper, drives into the paint, oh. and short strings the jump shot from five feet away. Ben not happy with himself there. Penn State with a rebound. Here's Brown. Get him covered up. Brown, dangerous pass. Oh, now he holds up on it. Gets it back to uh, Clary into the corner. Here's a long three. In and out, no good. Offered up by Leo O'Boyle just into the game. Hawks clear out. Boy, had a good look at the three, but missed it. Perkins back for the Hawkeyes to Dix along the sideline. In front of the Penn State bench, 13-30 to play in the half. Hawkeyes up four, 17-13, just settling in here at Penn State. Sanford to Dix. He's going to take O'Boyle off the dribble drive. Step back. Jumper is good. Man, is that a pretty shot. Boy, he's got that is automatic when he's moving to his left right there. He gets into his spot. That's about 15 feet elbow at the free throw line. Josh Dix off to a great start. Hawks up six, 19-13. Here's a pitch right of the lane. For the post, Demetrius Lilly. He has nowhere to go. Iowa playing excellent man-to-man -man defense in the half court. Kanye Cleary takes Dixon deep, steps back, wanted to shoot it. No, ah, we got a holding foul on Iowa. Owen. Boy, where did that come from? I didn't see any grab there. I thought they were going to call him for a double dribble. I did too. But Freeman gets called for the personal just his first. As he grabbed on to, apparently, grabbed on to uh, Lily, the 6'10 sophomore from Philly. And out he comes and in comes uh, Wahab back. Patrick McCaffrey, first trip to the floor for PMAC. And he replaces uh, Tony Perkins. Josh Dix is also out of the game in favor of DeSante Bowen. So we'll reset the lineup for you in a minute. Another three good from the left side by Jameel Brown. Boy, the Hawks would be way ahead without Penn State, uh, in, in front of Penn State without the threes. Four three-point goals by the Nittany Lions. 19-16, Iowa. Oh, the home cooking. They were hot at Indiana with 12 trays the other night. They've got four already. We haven't played eight minutes. Cricky, bad pass, stolen away by Brown. Boy, has he been big here early in the game. He's got six points and now a steal. Drives around Patrick McCaffrey. That's three turnovers on the Hawks. Here's a drive and a foul in the lane. Ace Baldwin. I think they're going to give him two here. Lodgy Dembele will two, come in. Two quick and fouls Owen, on Owen. Oh, Owen's man. heading to the sideline again early in the game. 12-14 to play. Reached in and hacked down on Ace Baldwin. And at 80 percent, he's not a guy you want to put at the foul line. 19-16, the Hawkeyes by three. So Lodgy Dembele is up off the bench quickly. Baldwin hits the first free throw. Hawks led 17 to 10 a moment ago. And now Iowa's lead is two at 19-17. It's a 7-2 run, maybe an 8-2 run here after this next free throw. So uh, Freeman again to the bench. He'll sit on the pines for heavy minutes. Until halftime again tonight. 12-minute mark. Owen goes out. Second free throw good by Baldwin. Yeah, he drove right at Owen. and a Shifty left-hander. 19-18. Iowa's lead is one. Here's Bowen all the way coast to coast. Nearly threw it away. But Baldwin got a hand on it. That's what he does. He gets deflections, steals on bounce passes like that. Fortunately, it goes out of bounds. It's intended for Cricky. And the Hawks have 20 on the shot clock. 12.05 on the game clock. Here's Peyton Sanford, who's hit the only three he looked at. Baldwin has him, but Peyton has a, side, a decided advantage in height. Here's a jump shot good by Cricky in the lane. Oh, Boyle at the deck. And uh, he's staying down. Looked like a flop to me. Well, he's inside the block charge. Circles. That wasn't going to count. He may, may have taken a shot in the nose. We'll take a timeout. An official's timeout with 11.52 to play. They'll check out Leo O'Boyle, grad transfer from Lafayette College. 6-7 out of Scranton. We'll see if they're going to review it when we come back. Iowa's up by uh, three. 
21 to uh, 18. This is Hawkeye basketball, courtesy of Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. Basketball in the Big Ten Tournament. Travel Leaders Destination Unlimited has rooms available at the Marquette Hotel in downtown Minneapolis and an easy walk to the Target Center. This package is two-night hotel only on March 8th and 9th with an option to purchase additional nights. Go to DOHC.com to book now. What happens when you call your insurance company? If you have water in your basement, press 1. Most big companies have a recorded message or an app. If you are in your living room and see sky when you look up, press 2. But when something bad happens, you just want to talk to a person. On a day like that, that phone line can end up feeling like a lifeline. At a time like that, you want a company like West Bend. Because the worst brings out our best. If there is a tree in your bedroom, press 3. Visit thesilverlining.com to find out more. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon when you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments. Your bacon called, it's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loans subject to credit approval and analysis. See Credit Union for details. Hawkeye Basketball on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Get your medical card online and visit their dispensary for the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Search Bud and Mary's online. Join Iowa women's basketball coach Lisa Bluter and Iowa men's basketball coach Fran McCaffrey for Hawk Talk live from the Hyatt Regency in Coralville's Iowa River Landing. Check out the schedule on HawkeyeSports.com. Got a track meet going on here at the Bryce Jordan Center. Iowa 9 of 12 from the field. Penn State 6 of 11, but four three-point goals. And both defenses are pestering the other's offense, and yet good shooting. The Hawks have scored on nine of their last ten possessions and lead the Nittany Lions 21-18. Iowa's led by as many as seven. Penn State had an early five-point lead, and back and forth we go, Bobby Hanson. Back and forth we go is right. The Hawkeyes dominating the paint scores, Gary. 14-4 in favor of the Hawks. Shooting lights out, 9 of 12, as you mentioned, 75%. That's because they've got the ball inside and attacking Ben Cricky. Tony Perkins gets the steals and the run out. Josh Dix, a little uh, mid-range shot there in the paint. So, Hawks off to a good start. I like the way they're playing. Yeah, the only negative is Owen Freeman again on the bench with two early fouls. Ben Cricky and Josh Dix have seven points of Piece for the Hawks. Peyton Sanford has a three-point goal. And for Penn State, likewise, good balance. Six for Jameel Brown on a pair of threes. Five for DeMarco Dunn. He had the first five points of the game. Uh, three for Zach Hicks. Hawkeyes have been to the foul line. Well, each team has been to the free throw line, made both. Turnovers, three for the Hawkeyes, three for Penn State. And we play on with 11.52 to go in the first half. Iowa 21 and Penn State 18. Set up the best zone defense from home heating costs this winter. Tune up your furnace, seal up drafts around your home, and visit midamericanenergy.com to find more ways to keep warm with less energy. Penn State basketball. As Clary works it into the front court. He and Baldwin running at guard. And Baldwin played 38 minutes the other night. He's not coming out. They give him a screen. Does Wahab. Now he falls down. Ball's loose, but picked up by Zach Hicks. Seven to shoot. Deep three. Good. Are you kidding me? He is playing with so much <laughs> confidence. Jameel Brown, four out of five at Indiana. And he got three here tonight. Line drive three, and the game is tied from 28 feet. 21-21, Iowa, Penn State. Five three-point goals. For Penn State, we haven't played half of the opening session. Here's Cricky, far corner. Hawks fight to get the lead back now. Cricky gets a screen from uh, Lodgy Dembele, then puts up a wild jump shot. Uh, never had a chance to go down. Penn State, great defense, and now the basketball. The Nittany Lions shoot for the lead. Patrick McCaffrey now chasing around uh, Jameel Brown, and here's a foul on Iowa. Going to get to Sade Bowen with the grab. His first. That's four team fouls on the Hawks. Penn State has been whistled for three. Peyton Sanford out of the game. And Kanye Clary checks out for Penn State. Josh Dix back in for the Hawkeyes. 10.47 to play in the half. Hawkeyes and Nittany Lions all tied up at 21. Three-point shooting for Penn State's been lethal. Here's Baldwin. Throws right of the lane to Wahab. Backs in on 6-7. Ben Cricky and scores. Pretty good move by a guy 6'11". 
Not much Ben could do. He had, he had good posture, but when you're giving away four or five inches. Penn State's back in the lead. Quick 5-0 run. It's 23-21. That's his shot, Gary Wahab. Wants to get back over the left shoulder. Shoot that hook shot about eight feet away from the hoop. Oh, who's going to score for the Hawkeyes? Patrick McCaffrey has it stripped. Taken away. Turnover, Iowa. Zach Hicks peeled it away from Patrick. And now here come the Nittany Lions. Baldwin leaves it left wing for DeMarco Dunn. Right back inside to Wahab. You know he's got a height advantage. Jump hook is up and no good. Missed that one. Good defense by Lodgy. And the Hawks running the other way. Down two. 23-21. 9.55 to play in the half. Dix chased by Brown. Bowen, he tries a three from the left wing. No good. Strong. And Wahab clears. Penn State with the ball on a two-point lead. Ace Baldwin Jr. into the front court. Virginia Commonwealth a year ago. Here's a backdoor lob and a layup. Too strong. No good. Rebounded by Hicks and he's fouled. Penn State winning the battle of the boards right now. 7-5. Two fouls on Bowen. He'll have to come out in favor of Tony Perkins. Penn State returns with Nick Kern. And Demetrius Lilly. Well, they're going to leave Watwell Wap. Is Wahab out? Did he come out or is he still in there? He's coming out. He is coming out in favor of Lilly. Lilly's 6'10, so they don't lose a lot of height there. They're reviewing. I'm not sure what they're reviewing here. Whether or not he was shooting, I guess, or in the act of shooting. Well, all plays under review this season are brought to you by our friends at Atletico Physical Therapy. Physical therapy is the thing you're told to do after medication, x rays, or surgery. But what if the best way to fix your pain is to start where you normally finish? The sooner you start with physical therapy, you change everything. And it all starts with no prescription needed at Athletico. Athletico. Hawkeye basketball is sponsored by our friends at Walmart. Hawk fans, Walmart, Blue Cross, Blue Shield knows you're here for every fadeaway alley-oop, every buzzer beater. And Wellmark is here for every moment, too. A trusted health care coverage committed to making health care better. Learn more at wellmark.com slash hoops. That's wellmark.com slash hoops. At halftime, uh, recently named academic All-American and happy to report uh, returning free safety Quinn Schulte will join us. Quinn's... Uh, a podcast guest this week on the Fight for Iowa podcast. And get a couple thoughts from uh, Quinn about, uh, let's see if I counted it up right, five starters returning for their final year on that mm, defense. It'll be tough. Most noted, yeah. Jay Higgins, Nick Jackson, Jamari Harris, Sebastian Castro, and now Quinn Schulte. Quinn was the last one to say, you know what? Dental school can wait a year. I love playing Hawkeye football. Who wouldn't love playing for Phil yeah. Parker? Yeah, good choice by Quinn. Yeah, his father's his coach up at Xavier High School. Hall of Famer, Dwayne Schulte. Schulte. Yeah, stand Number up, three take three a three bow. Three I guess they were checking the clock to make sure uh, the uh, clock kept running after the foul call. Free throw is good by Zach Hicks. Hawks are in a little bit of a scoring drought right yeah, here. They really are. Half minutes. Got to find somebody to get to the hoop, and that's why Tony Perkins is in the game. 25-21. Both free throws by Hicks are good. It's a 7-0 Penn State run after the Hawks led by three. 21-18. Now 25-21. Here's Dix. Dix can score. Got off to a hot start. He's got seven. Ten to shoot. Throws left wing for Lodgy Dembele. Got to move. Now seven to shoot. Lodgy takes a smaller man inside and has it stripped away. DeMarco Dunn pried it loose. Hawks give it up without a shot. And back comes Nit the Nittany Lions. 845. Here's a catch back door. Easy score. Well, they're picking Iowa's defense apart now. Nice back cut by Demetrius Lilly, the 6'10 sophomore. And Penn State now on a 9-0 run. 27-21. Nittany Lions have come from three back to go up six. Hawks Hawks. haven't scored since Cricky layup at about the 12 minute mark. Dix with a pop up jumper. That's no good in the lane. Too strong. And pulled out of there and rebounded by Demetrius Lilly. Into the front court. Here comes Baldwin all the way to the basket. And he is called for travel. Lodgy Dumbelli 
got there, made body contact. I was fearful they might call a blocking foul, but Ace was so out of control, they called the travel. That's a good uh, no call that time by the referee there, because Lodge was moving with him, had his hands up, just walled off right there at the rim and called him for the turnover. Four turnovers on Penn State. Iowa's flipped it over five times. Hawks now under eight minutes to play in the half. Hawks have been in a drought here for a while. 9-0 run by Penn State. 27-21. Italy hounding Tony with double teams. Here's a step back three. That's way short of the mark. And another one and done for Iowa. Hicks clears for the Nittany Lions. Crossover dribble into the front court is DeMarco Dunn. Cricky picks him up. Throws back on point to Baldwin. Baldwin. Fakes a pass, drives it high post right, leaves it for the wing. Here's a three, no good. Offensive rebound by Nick Kern and a fresh shot clock for Penn State. Here's a three in and out, no good. Cricky R- tracks down that rebound along the baseline. Zach Hicks with a really good look at it, misses the three. 27 21, Penn State, 7 10 to play in half. Here's Cricky, pop up jumper, no good. Rebound punched out to Perkins. Tony into the lane, step back jumper, that's no good. Rebound kicked out to Perkins. Now to McCaffrey, his standstill three, that's strong, no good. Rebound at Penn State. Just can't hit, Gary. Hawks, oh, for their last seven, two of their last ten. Un- unbelievable. Baldwin into the front court to Nick Kern. 6.45 to play in the half. Here's a long three on the way. No good. That was a four shot, but tipped out to Penn State. Baldwin missed badly. Cricky couldn't secure the rebound from a taller Demetrius Lilly. Here's Baldwin. High post right. Gets it back now to a teammate in the front court to Nick Kern. Crossover dribble around Lodgy Dembele. He challenges Cricky and is fouled. Timeout on the floor. Iowa down 27-21. Penn State has scored 17 of the last 19 points and lead at 27-21. This is Hawkeye Basketball presented by Walmart Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. This is John. Hey, my name is John Jackson. He's not some actor. He's a steward of the land with a John Deere 3 Series tractor and a PTO Quick Connect that hooks up rear implements with a single click. John runs with us because to him, there's nothing more important than connecting with the land. Nothing runs like a deer. Hear John's story at deer.com. Stop by your local John Deere dealer for a test drive today or learn more at deer.com. Your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Iowa basketball. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular's award-winning network? It's free for 30 days. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular even faster? Just get a race car driver to be your personal chauffeur. Just let me buckle my... Hey, my calls and data work great out here. Test drive U.S. Cellular free for 30 days. Name the leader in 5G coverage in Iowa. You can pull over now, please. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Awards based on open signal independent data. Visit uscellular.com for details. Hawkeyes need to find a score or two. Off to a good start. Iowa led 17-10. When Owen Freeman picked up his second foul, went to the bench at the 12-20 mark. And about that time, Penn State made a move. The Nittany Lions hot from three. Five out of ten from distance. And we still have 6-21 to go in the first half. Hawkeyes have one three-point goal in four attempts. That by Peyton Sanford, who comes back into the game now. Hawkeyes have been outscored 14-2 over the last six and a half minutes including a 9-0 run by the Nittany Lions that wiped out a 7-point Iowa lead, 17-10. And Penn State now up by 6 at 27-21. Free throws coming for the Nittany Lions. Those two 6-11 guys, Bobby, that they alternate, Wahab and Lilly, uh, 
They can afford to attack with their guards. Yeah, they can. The guards are up in your space, Gary. You're pushing the Hawkeyes out further on the uh, offensive end of the floor than they want to be. you got to put your head down there and drive, get in there, get to the hoop, uh, kind of force yourself uh, on them. But you uh, got to credit Penn State with this D. Nick Kern hits the first free throw. Penn State perfect, 5 for 5 from the foul line. And they extend the lead to 7, 28-21. Second one, right through. Kern, he's got a line drive shot. Sure was. There's a couple threes, now two free throws. Penn Tap State top. by eight. 29-21, Tony Perkins. They've identified him. Tony's got one basket. Here's McCaffrey, turns the corner. Patrick gets to the basket, lays it up and in. Finally, a nice drive to the dish by the Hawks. 29-23, Penn State. Six minutes to play first half. Exactly what the Hawkeyes needed, an aggressive move to the basket. Patrick McCaffrey with the right-hand layup. Now let's get some stops. Dribbling right wing is Jameel Brown. He had a hot hand earlier in the half. Gives it to Kern. Kern takes McCaffrey one-on-one. -on -one. Muscles in on him, and he's fouled by Patrick. But Kern threw a pretty good shoulder into Patrick's midsection, and no call there. Patrick gave it back to him, and now the foul call. That's... Uh, Seven team fouls on the Hawks, so one and one the rest of the way, 540 here remaining in the first half for uh, Penn State. Again, that's good physical driving to the basket, and Kearns right back at the free throw line. It's that high ball screen to free him up right there, and Patrick took a good angle, but when you put your shoulder down, put your body on him, most of the time the referees are going to call that on the defense. Makes the first free throw. Hawkeye basketball is sponsored by U.S. Cellular. They want to make the most of today for you by choosing game day traditions first and scrolling later. Proud sponsor of the Iowa Hawkeyes, U.S. Cellular. U.S. Cellular built for us. Kern now has made four consecutive free throws the last two Penn State trips down the floor. Nittany Lions are eight for eight from the foul line. Iowa's two out of two. Here's Sanford, they break the press. Into the front court, Dembele, right baseline, hands it off to Payton, and he airballs a three out from deep in the right wing. Off balance shot. Here's Kern back for the Hawk, uh, for the Nittany Lions. His lazy pass deflected by Peyton Sanford, picked off by Dembele. Turnover on Penn State. Hawks come back the other way. McCaffrey shot fake, drives in. Now leaves it to the wing, for, uh, on the wing for Josh Dix. We wind down to the five minute mark remaining in the first half. Iowa down 31-23. Turnover, bad pass, picked off by Penn State. All the way for a layup, no good, but a foul from behind, and Jameel Brown will be shooting free throws. Foul number four, Josh Dix, his first. First foul on Josh Dix, two free throws coming for Jameel Brown. Now the good news is he's a 40% free thrower. Hawkeye basketball is sponsored by University of Iowa Healthcare, UIHC. Heart disease is the leading cause of death for men and women in the United States. You need expert care from specialists who know your heart condition inside and out. UI Heart and Vascular Center has advanced trained cardiologists that use state-of-the-art diagnostic tools. Make an appointment today at uihc.org slash hvc. First free throw is missed by Brown. That's the first miss tonight by Penn State. They're eight out of nine. Brock Harding has come in for the Hawkeyes. Second free throw, rim and out. See so if the Hawks can take advantage of that. Down eight. Now a foul called on Penn State. A double team on Brock Harding. That brings Mike Rhodes. Mike Rhodes up off the bench. He's livid. They tried to trap the young freshman. They did trap the Harding uh, on the far sideline. And Mike Rhodes thought his guy ripped the ball away from out top. In particular, Jameel Brown. And it comes to Brock from Peyton Sanford. But a foul called on Penn State. It's just the third team foul. Dembele throws up a three from uh, left wing. No good. And rebounded by Jameel Brown. Here's Ace Baldwin. Another one and done trip by the Hawkeyes. Are 10 of 22, 45%. There's a dribble fumbled by Brown. And a three second violation called on Wahab. Turnover. Penn State. Brown fumbled the dribble. 
And by the time he ran it down in the corner, Wahab was camped in the lane and gets called for three seconds. That's six turnovers on Penn State. Hawks got to take advantage of these mistakes. Yeah, Hawks got to get a little uh, run here going. Yeah, with four and a half minutes left in the half. You got to get some momentum going to the locker room. And Tony Perkins is one of the guys who's got to get it going. Pull up jumper, good. No, oh, in and out. Down. Tony got robbed there. Did everything right. He's just shaking his head. Got to pop that lid off the basket. Here's Brown, another deep three. No good. Rebounded by Peyton Sanford. Brown's hit two triples. Sanford all the way into the front court for the Hawkeyes. Reverse dribble, trapped in the corner, gets it to Mbelli. Cross court for Harding with four minutes to play in the half. And now a bumping foul called on Clary of Penn State. A blocking foul. Four team fouls on Penn State. And we'll come back. It'll be Iowa basketball when play resumes here in the first half. We've been stuck on 31-23 for a while. Penn State, though, with a 13-2 run has come from seven back, and now they've stretched the lead to eight. 31-23, 3.56 to go first half. Join the Iowa Lottery VIP Club and enter to win game day tickets to see Iowa men's basketball with a countdown to Carver promotion. Play Hawkeye Gold Scratch tickets today. And nothing goes better with Hawkeye Sports than Wimmer's Meats. Wimmer's Hot Dogs and Sausages deliver the home game experience to your family and friends. Wimmer's, the official hot dog of the Hawks. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Equity salutes today's hero of the game. As a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season, please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. Our mission at Open All is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknell is located near University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oaknell.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon when you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments. Your bacon called. It's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loan subject to credit approval and analysis. See Credit Union for details. Welcome back to the Walmart Blue Cross Blue Shield broadcast table. The Hawkeyes trail Penn State 31 23, 356 to go in the first half. Gary Dolphin and Bobby Hansen with you on the Hawkeye Radio Network. Brock Harding is out of the game. Ben Cricky is back in. No, Brock Harding's still in there. My bad. Harding and uh, Peyton Sanford. Tony Perkins are in the guard court. Here's Harding. Wraparound pass to Cricky. Fumbled it away. Peyton Sanford loses the ball and throws it right to a Penn State Nittany Lion for a layup. Wow. <laughs> Didn't understand that one right there. Three Hawkeyes had their hands on it, Pick it and up. they cough it up anyway. Here's Harding. Nice pass inside. Layup good by Tony Perkins, who posted up down low and a nice find by Brock Harding. So the exchange of baskets has Penn State in the lead, 33-25, 3.25 to go on the half. Here's a pitch inside, a layup and a score off glass by Wahab. Beautiful pass by Clary there. Harding goes all the way coast to coast, forces up a shot, no good. Rebounded by Lodgy Dembele, keeps the possession alive. Perkins 4-3, good. Maybe that gets Tony going. Penn State's 10-point lead, chopped to 7. 35-28, three minutes to go in the first half. Good rebound that time. Ben Cricky turned and found a wide open Tony Perkins about the 23 feet left wing. Here's Perkins with a steal. Stripped the ball away from the guard. Harding all the way out to Perkins and oh. misses the dunk and ends up on his head. Took a hard shot. And I'm not sure what they stopped the play for. Did they call hanging on the rim? Uh, on, on Tony? 
Unless they called a foul and I missed it, but Tony Perkins went in for a dunk. Somebody got underneath him. Well, Man, went and up he... the block it with her. Lily went well, up he's... there. And... Oh. Yeah, Wahab did blo uh, block the shot or got a piece of it, but he also got a lot of Tony Perkins. Sure and Tony slammed, body slammed to the floor, but he is as tough as the floor itself. Another bad pass. This one by Baldwin picked off a diagonal pass by Harding, and he's run into from behind. And Brock Harding, her ankle, or is grabbing his knee or his ankle. Let's hope it's kind of an ankle. Yeah. Well, he, he pulled up because he knew he had a defender bearing down on him. And Brock, good job of drawing the foul, but boy, that's dangerous. Have a guy running right up over the top if you're trying to slam on the brakes. And he's gimping around now. There's got to be an ankle. And hopefully he can walk it off. Need these two free throws here, Gary, to pull the Hawks within five. 35-28 Penn State with the lead. Lots of action here. Not a lot of scoring in the last few minutes. But each team now is led by his seven points. In fact, Penn State had a 10-point lead a moment ago. Harding's free throw is good. The diminutive Brock Harding. Rand McCaffrey checking with him, make sure he wants to stay in. He said, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine on one leg, coach. I'm shooting free throws. <laughs> Don't bother me. 35-29, <laughs> Brock, very good free throw shooter at 80%. I'm going to make a little and run here. Fran's going to get him out, though. They're going to check that ankle out. And Harding will come out. Josh Dix will finish the half. 2.32 to play. If you join us late, Owen Freeman picked up two early fouls again. And hasn't played for the last, uh, what will be, 12 and a half minutes. The Hawks are hanging tight. Down 35-30. Ooh, here's a long three. Good. My goodness. Penn State in this three-point shooting. Kanye Clary, who's 38% from three. That's a half a dozen threes by Penn State in the first half. And the Nittany Lions are right back up 8-38-30. Here's a tough shot that goes down for Peyton Sanford. Left of the lane, about 15 feet out, with uh, two hands right in his face. And he drills at 38-32 Penn State. A minute 56 to play in the half. Here's a shot fake, a drive inside. Now a pitch to the wing. Another three-point attempt, no good. Battling for the rebound as Iowa and a foul over the back. Wahab, Evan Braun slipped into the game on me. And Evan's going to shoot free throws. Now check that, a loose ball foul. Is that on uh, Lily? Oh, Lily's in the game, not Wahab. Wahab heard you. He's coming to the bench. Here. Both 6'10". They don't lose much when one leaves. Iowa, though, has a chance to cut the lead, the deficit to four, with a minute and a half to play in the first period. Now Cricky tied up. Looks for an outlet. Penn State really pressing with that man-to-man. -man. Sanford run into no call. DeMarco Dunn just bumping him. Here's Dix with two to shoot. P Perkins not going to get the shot off in time. Well, that is big-time defense there, Bobby. Iowa, unaware the shot clock was about to expire. Turnover, Hawkeyes. No, they were just in their space the whole time right there. Josh Dix trying to cut loose, to, but they would not let him. Once he got into the paint, two Nittany Lions uh, came up on him and kicked it to Tony. Time ran out. Nine first-half turnovers by Iowa. Now an over and back on Penn State. Boy, their turnovers have been... Uh, Lazy. Perplexing, yeah. to say the least, are mental blockouts. They've had a lead, they've got nine turnovers as well. At least half of those are live ball turnovers, uh, un unforced errors. Can't believe both teams nine turnovers here in the first half. Well, Iowa not a turnover team. No, and Penn State turns you over. They're leading the Big Ten. Almost 16 turnovers forced a game. See if the Hawks can take advantage. Cricky muscles his way in, misses a shot, gets the putback, though. Stayed with it and slapped it in off the square. Iowa down four with 55 seconds to play in the half. That's a big-time play that time by Ben Cricky up over the top of Wahab. And an immediate score at the other end by Ace Baldwin. Took Josh Dix in low. Iowa down six with 40 seconds to play in the half. Baldwin just drove it all the way to the baseline. Well, Cricky loses the ball. Now he's tied up, gets rid of it, now throws it away. This is unbelievable. Ben just couldn't go anywhere with it. Here's a drive and a foul called on Iowa. It's amazing how these guards 
Get into the paint, they just attack you. From the right side, Gary, they're left-handed guards, both Clary and Ace Baldwin Jr. They're trying to go from right to left with that strong hand, left hand. And that time, Tony, just a little late, picked up the foul, his first. Well, the Hawks had the ball down six. Uh, now they're down six. Penn State at the free throw line where they've been lights out. Eight of ten in the first half and a good free throw shooter at the line. And it's good. Kanye Clary, normally a starter, but a broken bone in his face. Missed a couple games on the road. He's back in there tonight and immediately effective. He's got five points. Misses the second free throw. Hawks limit the damage. With 25 seconds to go in the half, so they can shoot for one. Down seven. 41-34. Basket here would be big. And some much-needed momentum going to the locker room. Tony with Clary all over him. Perkins goes left wing for Peyton Sanford. Forces up a three. Get in there. In and out. No good. Rimden came out, and now a foul on Iowa on the rebound. Evan Bronze lost his balance. And with .5 to go in the first half, fell into the rebounder. Two free and Lily's coming. <laughs> tenth team fouled on Iowa. Boy, what else could go wrong here? My goodness. Number 24, Zach Hicks at the line. The Peyton's lines. three uh, attempt took a lap around the iron, was halfway down, and, and came out. Free throw, no good. One more coming. For Zach Hicks, not Lilly. 6'8 junior. Came in here from Temple University. Second free throw is good, and Penn State's going to have an eight point lead going to the locker room here at the half. 42 34. Nittany Lions with the lead. Honda has a powerhouse lineup. Two MVPs, as a matter of fact. Honda is the long range threat with the Accord Hybrid and CRV Hybrid. Always ready to go the distance at your central Midwest Honda dealer. Visit great dealers like Billion Honda in Iowa City. Stop in at Billion and say hi to Levi Walker. And Hawk fans, if you or someone you know needs support now, please call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. Hawkeye basketball is sponsored by Bud and Mary's, the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Getting a medical card is fast and easy online. Visit BudMary.com and learn more. The Bud Light Halftime Show is next. Penn State leads the Hawkeyes at the break 42-34. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Hi, I'm Gary Dolphin, and if you want your home to be exceptionally comfortable during these cold Iowa winters and hot, humid summers, you need to turn to Dave Lennox and your local Lennox home comfort specialist. Lennox has been serving Iowa consumers since 1895, when Dave Lennox built his first furnace in Marshalltown, and Lennox is still building its high-efficiency furnaces and air conditioners there today. For the best home comfort system you can buy, it's Lennox and your local Lennox dealer. Lennox and the Hawkeyes. Now there's a winning combination. When the game goes into overtime. But. The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink. Easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular's award-winning network? It's free for 30 days. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular even faster? Just get a race car driver to be your personal chauffeur. Just let me buckle my... Whoa! Hey, my calls and data work great out here. Test drive U.S. Cellular free for 30 days. Name the leader in 5G coverage in Iowa. You can pull over now. Please. U.S. Cellular. Built for us. Terms apply. Awards based on open signal independent data. Visit uscellular.com for details. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. 
This has been the well-marked Blue Cross and Blue Shield first half on the Hawkeye Sports Network. This is the Bud Light Halftime Show. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Hawkeyes down at halftime here at Penn State, 42-34. Iowa has one more field goal than do the Nittany Lions uh, here at the half, but Penn State has four more three-point goals. Six out of 13 in the first 20 minutes. Iowa just two of eight, and that speaks volumes about how good Penn State's defense has been. Plus, the Nittany Lions got to the foul line early. They sank 10 of 14 free throws to Iowa's four out of four. Yeah, that's our uh, Latham uh, Latham Seeds, Latham High Tech Seeds Charity Stripe Recap. Six more free throws and four more three-point goals. And that, uh, to say the least, is the difference in the game. The Hawks are fortunate to be only down eight, 42-34. Hawks are also being out-rebounded 16-14. More on our Hy-Vee halftime stat check a little bit later on. At the break, Iowa trails 42-34. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Criminal charge or complicated family law situation? Our law firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Oh, coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular's award-winning network? It's free for 30 days. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular even faster? Just get a race car driver to be your personal chauffeur. Just let me buckle my... Whoa! Hey, my calls and data work great out here. Test drive U.S. Cellular free for 30 days. Name the leader in 5G coverage in Iowa. You can pull over now, please. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Awards based on open signal independent data. Visit uscellular.com for details. You don't have to go to the game to get a game program. You can download it now by visiting the game day page on HawkeyeSports.com. That's right. The game program is now digital and it's free. So check it out. Get the roster, the stats, and fascinating stories about today's matchup. Just go to HawkeyeSports.com and click on game day. True cannabis products like concentrates, vapes, tablets, creams are available legally in Iowa, but only at licensed medical dispensaries. Get a med card online, quick and easy. I got mine in less than a day. Chronic pain is the most common condition. Search for Bud and Mary's online or call their dispensary to learn how you can get your med card. Bud and Mary's grows real cannabis, not hemp. That means their products contain real THC with no percentage limits. Find an Iowa licensed dispensary near you at BudMary.com. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield under the broadcasting rights granted by the University of Iowa. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of the university and Learfield. Announcers are provided by Learfield and approved by the university. No less than five defensive starters from Iowa's top 10 ranked squad thought to be moving on with their lives and or football careers have decided to return and wear the Tiger Hawk logo one more season. All Big Ten linebackers Jay Higgins and Nick Jackson, cashback Sebastian Castro, cornerback Jamari Harris, and safety Quinn Schulte again form the backbone for the 4-3. Schulte is the elder statesman and the traffic cop at safety, an academic All-American and member of the player leadership team. Schulte felt dental school could wait one more year. His parents, including Hall of Fame high school coach and dad, Dwayne Schulte, an economics and law teacher at Cedar Rapids Xavier, taught Quinn the balance of academics and athletics. You know, I think that's kind of both my parents just preaching, you know, um, if you're going to work hard at something, you know, you, you got to do it on both ends of the spectrum, and that's, you know, academics and athletics too, so. Quinn, you're one of the many outstanding players that's decided to return for that extra year to that Phil Parker defense. Other than Cooper DeGene, uh, that secondary returns uh, intact. Uh, what went into your decision to come back? Uh, and with a new offensive coordinator now in place, and hopefully quarterback uh, Cade McNamara, 
healthy along with a lot of others uh, on that side of the football. Uh, give us a snapshot of Hawkeye football with spring practice just a month and a half out. I would say, you know, right now just um, we're trying to do really hard work in uh, winter workouts, you know, and, and lift and run, you know, very well so we can set ourselves up for spring ball. And, uh, you know, as a defense, we're, we're kind of trying to stick to the fundamentals too, especially um, spring ball is a great time kind of to go back to the basics um, and re- really kind of focus in on those. And then, uh, you know, as a team, we're really just all trying to, you know, work hard every day um, to get better. So, you know, come summer or fall, um, we're, we're at least 1% better every day. So. Hear the entire interview with all Big Ten free safety Quinn Schulte on the Fight for Iowa podcast, beginning tomorrow morning on whatever platform you listen to. The Hy-Vee stat recap here at halftime is next. This is the Bud Light halftime show, and this is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, 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 coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel, good squirrel. (laughs) While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. When the game goes into overtime. But. The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink. Easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Not all internet is created equal. It's a lot like choosing a quarterback. Technically, you could sign up any new rookie provider on the block, but the success of every device in your home depends on it. Will they perform in the clutch, or will they buffer under pressure? Extreme provides the speed you need with a 100% gigabit technology network and amplified Wi-Fi. And unlike signing a quarterback, Extreme Internet requires no contracts. There's only one pick to lead your team. It's Extreme, powered by Mediacom. I'm Ingrid Lizarraga, breast surgeon at the University of Iowa Holden Comprehensive Cancer Center, the state's only NCI-designated cancer center. Here, we look beyond just the type of cancer you have to discover the molecular details of the disease. We have teams dedicated to each cancer type, with treatments and trials you won't find anywhere else in Iowa. Go to uihc.org slash cancer. Halftime, the Hawkeyes uh, trailing Penn State 42-34. Big Ten hoops from State College. Iowa 14 of 30 from the field, 4 of 4 from the free throw line, just 2 of 8 from distance. they got to find some, get some shooters open and then find them in the second half. Uh, Iowa led in scoring by Josh Dix and Tony Perkins. They each have 7. Ben Crickey's got 9 on 4 of 9 shooting. Good to see Ben uh, back alive offensively. Uh, again, Owen... Freeman with two early fouls uh, uh, played just eight minutes in that first half. He's got to stay on the floor in the second half. For Penn State, their leading scorer nine by Jameel Brown, three three three-point goals. Penn State 13 of 25, that's 46%. Uh, The Hawks, uh, excuse me, that's 52%. The Hawks shot 46% in the first half. Iowa got out, rebounded 16-14. Okay there. Uh, The big stat for... uh, Penn State, uh, the bench, Penn State's bench has outscored Iowa 17 to 4. Penn State led by as many as 10. The Hawks had a seven point lead early, and Iowa trails at the break 42 34. That's our halftime stat recap courtesy of Hy V. Score big savings with the all new, totally free Hy V. Perks membership. Hy V. This is the halftime show brought to you by Bud Light. Bud Light, proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. And we're back to State College, Pennsylvania in a minute. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. The Burger Shed is a burger lover's dream come true. Our handcrafted burgers are made with a signature blend of certified Angus beef and smoky brisket, served with house-made pickles. But if you're looking for something other than a burger, don't you worry. We've got that, too. Check out our wide variety of shed sandwiches, salads, and real ice cream shakes. Burgers beers, and a bunch of BS. 
Burger Shed, Bass Pro Drive in Altoona. Our mission at Open All is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknell is located near University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oaknell.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Royal Flooring has everything you and your home needs from the floors up. We proudly serve Des Moines area homes as your local one-stop shop for flooring, tile appliances, cabinetry, countertops, and more. Visit shoproyalflooring.com to give your home the royal treatment today. Hey, it's your friend, social media. You know, where I showcase the cool life of sports stars and friends. But don't fall for the editing and good lighting because we all have struggles and challenges like with alcohol or drug use, gambling, or our mental health. Talking about it is a sign of strength. Maybe you don't know who to talk to. Your Life Iowa can give you resources or treatment options. Get free 24-7 confidential support. Call, text, or chat online at yourlifeiowa.org. A message from Iowa HHS. Back at halftime, sponsored by Bud Light. Hawkeye basketball is also coming your way courtesy of Latham High Tech Seeds. The Hawks have a diverse combination of talent, and at Latham High Tech Seeds, you'll find the most diverse portfolio in the industry. Diversify for success at LathamSeeds.com. Bobby, Bobby Hansen uh, down in the locker room uh, talking with the Hawkeye assistant coaches courtesy of John Deere, including P&K Midwest, your John Deere dealer in Keystone. Bobby, what'd you find out? Yeah, I talked to Matt Gatons, and uh, they're disappointed in the amount of turnovers, Gary, that happened there. And, uh, you know, when Owen Freeman got the two fouls, it seemed like the complexion of the game really changed right there. So Matt said they got to find a way to keep Owen on the court. But uh, got off to a good start, and then the two fouls happened, and then the turnovers started to occur. And the defensive transition got better for Penn State. So got to get back into this game this first four minutes. That was a good start to the game for the Hawks, and then things flamed out when Freeman got those two, second foul, and they didn't have anybody to handle the 6-11 guys inside for Penn State. But 20 minutes of basketball left with the Hawks down eight. Bobby's visit with the Iowa assistant coaches, courtesy of PNK Midwest and Keystone, your Iowa John Deere dealer. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. You're listening to Iowa Hawkeye Basketball. Penn State basketball to start the second half, leading 42-34. And Iowa plays some defense. Here's a deep drive in by Ace Baldwin. Throws it back to the wing. Wide open look at three. No good. Rebound tipped out by Wahab over Owen Freeman. And a new fresh possession. New 20 seconds on the shot clock for Penn State. Penn State with three more rebounds than the Hawkeyes to this point. We played 30 seconds of the second half. Penn State with another look in the offensive end. Step back jumper is no good off the right of the iron. Offered up by DeMarco Dunn and the Hawks. Avoid any further damage. And now try to peel into that lead trailing 40. Oh, bad pass by Peyton Sanford is picked off by Baldwin. He, he throws it away. Josh Dix has a shot blocked, but a foul called on Wahab. And Dix is lame as he gets to his feet. Gimping around. His first. Team first. Baldwin was laying on his back after he stole the Peyton Sanford pass and tried to throw it across court and threw it right to uh, one of the Iowa bigs. I think it was Owen Freeman. Was yeah. it Owen? And he, he immediately got it to uh, Josh Dix, who was fouled on a weak side drive. Josh has made his only free throw and now makes the second of the night. He's got eight points, nine for Cricky to lead Iowa. And another free throw coming for Josh. 42-35 Penn State. Second one's good. Outstanding free throw shooter. Now let's see if Josh is at the point of that 1-2-2. Two, two, as he can move on that leg. It looks like he's going to be okay. He's shaking it off. Hawks back to within six at the start of the second half. Looked like a 10-second violation occurred, but no whistle. 
as Penn State just does get it across the midcourt stripe. Here's Baldwin. Drives it around a couple screens. Trying to find Wahab inside. A reach-in foul on, on Iowa. They're going to get Josh Dix with the reach. Josh Dix. His second. His second. 18.44 to play in the game, and the Hawkeyes down six to the Nittany Lions, 42-34. As we're just underway in the second half. They'll end inbound underneath, left of the goal. Dunn gets it into Baldwin. Hicks to Baldwin, back to Hicks. The Hawks are in the zone. Man yep. to man? Yeah, no. they are in the zone. Two three zone. Here's a baseline drive. Step back jumper. No good. And out of bounds to Iowa. Off of Wahab. He, he and a teammate, Nick Kern, were battling for that weak side rebound off the missed jump shot by Hicks. So the Hawks get back to back stops to start the second half. And now have a chance to slice into the lead further. 42 36. Penn State haven't played quite two minutes. Here's the guy's got to get going, Peyton Sanford. He bounces high post left for Freeman. He dances inside on Wahab. Scores with a left hand. What a beautiful move by the freshman. That's where you need the big man to stay on the floor because you got some inside scoring in there over the top. You got such good moves. That time over the right shoulder with the left hand. Second basket for uh, uh, 40, Freeman. 42-38. Iowa back to within four. Here's Wahab with a jump shot. Good in the lane. Line drive in the jumper. He's much more of a scorer than he was last year. 44-38, the Hawks back up six. Dix with a shot fake, drives inside, challenges. Uh, 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 excuse me, Hicks has the shot blocked, and now a traveling call on Tony Perkins. Fourth turnover on Tony Perkins. Uncharacteristic turnovers, too, by Tony. I don't know if it's just the defensive pressure moving up in his space or just a tough night for Tony. He's frustrated right now. He's got to shake it off, though. The Hawks down only six. 44-38, 12 turnovers on Iowa. They average 10, and we still have 17 and a half minutes to play in the game. That's how airtight this Penn State defense can be, especially on the perimeter. Baldwin, waist high dribble, walks into the front court, cross court to Hicks. Now on the wing to Nick Kern. Kern with a left handed bounce, drives around Sanford, gets in the lane, leans in, jump shot up, no good. Strong rebound by Freeman, great defense by Peyton. Quickly, the outlet to Tony Perkins. Now to Sanford. He takes a shoulder from DeMarco Dunn. No call. Cricky with a step back. Jumper is good in the lane. Good find by Peyton Sanford in the lane just inside the foul line. Then Cricky's in double figures with 11. 44-40 Penn State. Here come the Hawkeyes here. Now button his defense up and the rebounding and put a little fear in Penn State here to start the second half. 16-45 to play. Baldwin a stop and go move. His pass is deflected out of bounds. And Peyton Sanford got a piece of that here. Freeman. Got a timeout, a whistle. So, Kanye Clary, and number 14, a couple of uh, substitutions for uh, Penn State. De uh, Demetrius Lilly, a 6'10 sophomore from Philadelphia, is into the game. They're checking the shot clock, I believe. Yeah, it will not reset. 13 on the shot clock after the deflect out of bounds. And in it comes to Zach Hicks, left wing. Now to Baldwin. He's going to try and create something. Gets a screen. Throws to a weak side. Cutting to Marco Dunn. Shot up. Block. Put back. Good. Oh, Penn State is mauling the offensive glass. Lilly with the put back. 46-40. Penn State back up six. Tony Perkins doubled. He's doubled on the catch almost every possession. Dix drives it hard. Left baseline. Circles into the lane. Now to Peyton Sanford. And... Foul on Josh. Josh Hicks. He set a sliding screen, and he's picked up two quick ones. And Dix frustrated. He's going to have to come out of the game. Three fouls on Josh McCaffrey. Patrick McCaffrey comes into the game. So the Hawks down eight and cough the ball up on an illegally moving screen. 15-59 to play in the game. Hawks need to stop right here. Kanye Clary back in the game. His jumper right of the lane is no good. Nice strong rebound by Owen Freeman. Good D by Peyton Sanford. Peyton's playing outstanding defense here. The start of the second half. Outlets for McCaffrey, now to Tony Perkins. Hawks spread the floor. Tony's going to try and take Baldwin one-on-one, -on -one, but he's double-teamed. That leaves Cricky free for the layup. Ben Cricky. 
Good job. Broke from the high post right to the basket. Tony hit him in stride. 46-42. Iowa is down. Now we have a move Ill, illegal screen called on Hicks. Zach Hicks threw a shoulder into Peyton Sanford. 15-25 to play in the game as we go to a break. They had 48-40 Penn State, but they've taken a basket off the screen now. And it is 46-42. After that last score by Ben Cricky. Hawks back to within four early on in the second half. Hawkeye basketball is brought to you tonight by our friends at Mid-American Energy. Set up the best zone defense from home heating costs this winter. Tune up your furnace, seal up drafts around your home, and visit midamericanenergy.com to find more ways to keep warm this winter with less spent energy. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Everyone knows the BBB is the Better Business Bureau, but depending on what you need, it's the Better Plumber Bureau, the Better Auto Mechanic Bureau, the Better Accountant Bureau. That's because the BBB connects people with businesses they can trust. So think of the BBB as the Better Check That Business Out First so you don't get ripped off Bureau. Be smart. Always look for the BBB seal because it's looking out for you. Find a better business anytime at BBB.org. Treat yourself to one of our award-winning entrees at the Machine Shed. Come get your hands around one of our famous pork tenderloins, our most popular sandwich. Served either deep-fried golden brown or unbreaded and grilled. Or try our roasted, stuffed Iowa chop that is stuffed with a warm apple raisin dressing and glazed with an apple whiskey sauce. Trust me, you won't regret it. This is Jeff Grunder, and we can't wait to have you over for dinner at the Machine Shed. I-80 in Hickman Road, Urbandale, and I-80 in Northwest Boulevard, Davenport. True cannabis products like concentrates, vapes, tablets, creams are available legally in Iowa, but only at licensed medical dispensaries. Get a med card online, quick and easy. I got mine in less than a day. Chronic pain is the most common condition. Search for Bud and Mary's online or call their dispensary to learn how you can get your med card. Bud and Mary's grows real cannabis, not hemp. That means their products contain real THC with no percentage limits. Find an Iowa licensed dispensary near you at BudMary.com. Next time. Welcome back to the Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield broadcast table. The Hawkeyes down just for 46-42 with 15-25 to go here at Penn State. The exciting moments, the proud moments, even the hard moments. Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield is here for it all as your health care champion, making health care more affordable with more choices for care and peace of mind no matter what comes your way. Find the plan right for you at Wellmark. Dot com slash hoops. Hawks trying to take advantage now of an illegal screen by Penn State as we get back to action. McCaffrey, Sanford, Perkins, Ben Cricky, and Owen Freeman on the floor. Cricky leads Iowa scores with 11 as the Nittany Lions have identified Peyton Sanford and uh, Tony Perkins, and they're getting after those two. Now Peyton tried to throw a pass across the timeline and got hacked and he's favoring his left arm shake it shoulder. off baby. almost looks like he's got a stinger now he's holding his left wrist but it's his shoulders he tried to deliver a pass he got to come out stood up and he's gonna have to come out of the game hmm. oh boy price sanford will come in and replace big brother so brad floyd will check that elbow and shoulder out and he's in i think it's a shoulder noticeable pain yeah, it's up. It looks like it's up in that upper left arm area around the bicep or the shoulder. We'll keep track of that, obviously. So let's see if young Price Sanford can pick up the scoring slack here. Here's Tricky. Go right back to Owen. Five minutes to gone in the uh, second half. Iowa down four. Ten to shoot. Perkins hits a cutting McCaffrey. Patrick drives to the basket. Throws up a hook. No good. But a tip dunk is good by Tony Perkins. Tony Perkins followed McCaffrey to the basket and slammed down. Hawks back to within two. What a play that time by Tony Perkins. Untouched. He's on the runway. Top of the key. Got the ball. Went right into his hands. The missed shot by Patrick and the two-hand dunk. Clary gets it inside to Hicks. Patrick. Now Hicks throws it away. Another lazy pass by Penn State. PMAC with a steal. Into the front court. Here's Price Sanford shot fake far corner. No good. He's covered up quickly by the 6'8 Hicks. Price shovel pass to Patrick McCaffrey. Hawks can get it tied with a hoop here. 46-44 after trailing 
by as many as seven midway through the first half. There's a lob high post right to Cricky. Ben drives inside. Scoop layup, no good. Missed it. Got the rebound. They're on the floor fighting over it now. It'll be Iowa basketball following the jump ball call. Guys diving on the floor, giving up their body for those 50-50 balls. And there's 6'10", Demetrius Lilly reached in with that long arm of his and tied up Cricky. Boy, Ben made a great move to the basket. Just threw it up there a little hard, anticipating guys swatting at that shot, that tall timber in the middle. Leo O'Boyle is into the game for Penn State. Cricky's going to take him off the dribble. Shot fake now, looks at a double team. Outlets to Price Sanford. Price looks for help. Gets it to Perkins. Nine to shoot. 13.50 to play in the game. Tony to Price Sanford. He drives inside, throws it off the glass, and in. Price Sanford, understanding the shot clock was about to go off, flipped it up there, and down it went. Here's Clary right back. Misses a quick jump shot from the left left of the lane. Hawks have it tied at 46, and now the ball after the rebound. Cricky gets called oh. for a charge. Ben out of control through the shoulder into a boil. And the Hawks give it right back to the Nittany Lions. Got to love the aggression, but uh, don't make it look that obvious. Love the fight, Gary. That second foul on Ben Cricky, and he's just wanting to get to the hoop as quick as he can, drop that shoulder, and picks up his second foul. 13-29 to go, but I love the Hawks' energy here. Start of the second half. They'll come back from seven down to get it tied at 46. Actually trailed by eight at the half. Here's a drive inside, a missed runner by Ace Baldwin, but a foul call. Now, is it before the shot or in the act of shooting? Now they're going to get two. two free throws. Let's check the U.S. Bank scoreboard. Nothing going on yet. Of course, this was an early start here. A Eighth-ranked Arizona is at Utah later. Florida Atlantic ranked 20th is at Alabama Birmingham. And, of course, the Iowa women host Penn State in Iowa City at 8 o'clock tonight as Caitlin continues the drive for the scoring championship and of course more importantly Iowa victories now and Nebraska Sunday free throws good by Baldwin Penn State back in the lead 47 46 second free throw is good Baldwin with five points and the one two two press by Penn State Owen Freeman brings it across the line. A score and a foul. He dribbled from the midcourt stripe all the way to the basket. I think he surprised Penn State a little bit with his ball handling. Not often you see a 6'10 guy coming at you from 40 feet away. I'm with you, Gary. I think he caught him by surprise. They just stayed right on his hip. I think it was Lilly. Picks up his third foul. Owen makes him pay. and chance to give the Hawkeyes a lead here. Well, he should be fresh. <laughs> he should be able to run up and right. down the floor the rest of the half. He only played eight minutes in the first period. He can give Iowa the lead. The and one. 67% from the foul line. I love, I love his heart. We just need him on the floor now. Free throw is good, and the Hawks are back in the lead at 49-48. A 7-0 run other than those uh, free throws by Ace Baldwin. Now Penn State shoots for the lead from the corner with a three. No good. Wahab with another offensive rebound. Here's a three. Good. <laughs> Second chance points by Penn State. DeMarco Dunn. 33% from three, but boy, they're falling tonight for the Nittany Lions. His second tonight. Here's Cricky. Hawks back down two. 51-49 with that triple off the offensive rebound by Wahab. Penn State winning the battle of the glass. Here's Perkins. Eight to shoot. Here's a bounce feed to Cricky. He step back jumper. No good. Couldn't talk it down. Penn State with a rebound. Quickly into the front court is DeMarco Dunn. Now to Clary. Flashy sophomore turns the corner. Jump passes to the wing. Dunn drives into the paint. Step back jumper is good. Now Dunn with a three and now a two. And just like that, a quick five for the Nittany Lions. 53-49. Price Sanford, or McCaffrey, Patrick, excuse me. Yeah. Patrick counters with a nice drive into the lane as the Hawks movement beat the Nittany Lions down the floor. 53-51. Penn State's lead is two. Here's O'Boyle for Penn State. For Clary, behind the back dribble. I don't know where he was going with that. Finds a man in the corner. Three-point shot, no good. Missed 
by Jameel Brown. He hit a couple in the first half. Here's Sanford leading the charge the other way. Cricky with a layup and a score. 53 all. Iowa, Penn State tied up. Bryce Sanford made that play. He really did, yeah. Under control, got it down the court, surveyed the situation, saw Cricky on his left open for the left-hand layup. Here's a baseline drive, a missed layup, but a foul on Tony Perkins will bring us to a timeout. Both these teams need a blow. 11-19 to play in the game. Don't go anywhere. Tie game at 53 with free throws coming for Kanye Clary out of Virginia Beach when we return. At the Gamer at Home, Wimmer's premium quality hot dogs and sausages. Score with family and friends. Take the highest quality beef and pork, combine it with natural spices, and you get the best tasting hot dog. Wimmers, official hot dog of the Iowa Hawkeyes. And Hawk fans, here's your chance to make a difference. Join the swarm and partner with Iowa men's basketball and serving charities throughout eastern Iowa. Learn more at iowaswarm.com. This is Hawkeye Basketball presented by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. Ground beef is only $2.99 a pound at Hy-Vee. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the Hy-Vee Perks membership. And $2.99 a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the Hy-Vee Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop. And count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for ground beef every day, sign up for Hy-Vee Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. Right now, you are not in the crowded Carver Hawkeye Arena, but you could be. You're not cheering a Hawkeye steal, fast break, and slam dunk, but you could be. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you could win a VIP game day experience to see the Iowa men's basketball team. The countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery lets you be a part of the action. To enter your ticket and see details, visit IALottery.com slash VIP. Hurry up, dude. The game's about to start. Nothing beats spending the day watching the game with your buddies. Dude, I'm literally right here. Let's do this. Which is why a shelter insurance renter's policy is key to your winning game plan. It protects things your landlord's policy doesn't. Uh, dude, where's your TV? What? Oh, no way, dude. Like that flat screen TV that just got stolen. To draft an agent for your team, visit shelterinsurance.com. Wear your shield. We're your shelter. Hawkeyes with the better start than Penn State to the second half. Down eight at the break. Iowa now has come back to tie the game at 53. Shooting 52% from the field. And Iowa's defense, Bobby, has uh, tamed the Nittany Lions here at the start of the second half. Penn State now down shooting 44%. Uh, seven three-point goals, though, to two. Hawks are going to have to try and set more screens and find a way to free up Peyton Sanford. But at least we hope Peyton's shoulder is okay. He's in the huddle over there. Let's hope he's all right. Yeah, that's a good sign right there. But his brother uh, has come in in a valuable reserve. He's done a nice job. Got a nice assist to Ben Cricket. He's played good defense. Got a rebound in there. So, uh, yeah, Peyton, yeah, Peyton's going to come. Now he's going to stay out of there. But uh, I like the start to the second half, the way the Hawkeyes have started with some energy. Got right back in this. Game. Oh, good move by Fran. He understands just what you described. Price Sanford playing well. Owen Freeman still with those two fouls, which is good. Cricky, McCaffrey, but Desante Bowen has come into the game. Josh Dix uh, hurt an ankle earlier, but he's good to go. Free throw by Clary is good. Penn State regains the lead at 54-53. 11-19 to play in the game. Second free throw, in and out, no good. Penn State, white hot from the foul line in the first half. Now they're 13 for 18. Hawks are 7 for 7 from the free throw line. Iowa can take the lead with a basket. Bowen to the freshman Sanford. He gets shoved off stride. Bowen gets baseline where he's trapped. Finds McCaffrey. High post left, bounce inside to Cricky. He goes in against a double team, hits the shot. Little suspended midair move. It was, and he shot that over the top of uh, Lilly and, or I'm sorry, Hicks. And then Wahab came from the offside to try to get the steal, but somehow Cricky got it to drop. And a little off balance midstream uh, hesitation in midair caught Wahab off guard. And the Hawks are back in front. Here's a steal. 
Nice poke away by Bowen. Cricky picks up the loose change. Bowen into the front court. Iowa up one. Price Sanford's open for three. Good! He curls it in. Very Peyton Sanford-like. And the Hawks jettison to a four-point advantage. 58-54. We're halfway through the second half. What a valuable reserve this young man is here tonight. In, in the reserve of his older brother, Peyton. Price Sanford with five points. And a really nice defensive play and an assist. Hawkeyes are battling man-to-man. Here's a drive in deep. Now a pass out point. Long three on the way. That's short. Run down by Patrick McCaffrey. Uh, the missed shot by Penn State. Hawks are trying to get that running game going now and having success. Jameel Brown misses the jump shot. Here's a shot down and a foul called on Penn State. Patrick McCaffrey with the short jumper in the lane. Patrick brought the ball down the floor, weaved and bobbed his way into the paint, and Penn State just kept backing up. They kept backpedaling, and Patrick McCaffrey dropped down the 10-footer and got fouled. A late reach by Penn State, a tired reach at that. What a comeback here by the Hawkeyes to grab the lead by six. That is a 26 to 8, start 12, 26 to 12 start for the second half for the Hawks. An 11 to 1 run right now, just a Penn State free throw in the last couple minutes. 7 0 run, 11 to 1. Hawks have scored on five of their last eight possessions. Hawkeye basketball is sponsored by Bud Light. Bud Light, a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Bud Light. And throughout the Iowa Corn Cyhawk series, Iowa Corn promotes values that are uniquely Iowa. On behalf of Iowa's corn farmers, we salute all athletes for their hard work and determination to be the best both on and off the field. Just like our athletes, our state leads the nation in corn and ethanol production. Follow Iowa Corn on Facebook and learn how corn grows Iowa. The Hawks, all of a sudden, up six, 60 to 54. This is Hawkeye Basketball presented by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. Basketball in the Big Ten Tournament. Travel Leaders Destination Unlimited has rooms available at the Marquette Hotel in downtown Minneapolis and an easy walk to the Target Center. This package is two-night hotel only on March 8th and 9th with an option to purchase additional nights. Go to DOHC.com to book now. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Facing a criminal charge or complicated family law situation, Car Law Firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. Do you trust your insurance agent? Do you trust your insurance company? Well, you'd better. Because all they've really sold you is a promise. A promise to be there when things go bad. To step up and put everything back the way it was. So, if you don't trust your insurance company, maybe it's time to find one you do trust. West Bend. The worst brings out our best. Visit thesilverlining.com to find out more. Hawkeye Basketball on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Get your medical card online and visit their dispensary for the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Search Bud and Mary's online. Make it 8-1 as Patrick McCaffrey Hits the and one, the foul on Jameel Brown before we went to break. And with 9.50 to play in the game, the Hawkeyes have jettisoned to a 61-54 lead. And playing as solid defensively as they are in the offensive. Really have. Did a little, switching it up there, a little 2-3 zone, a little man-to-man. It's got Penn State confused. Hawkeyes on the attack. Penn State basketball. Here's a throw far corner. Driving inside and missing the jumper. The runner in the lane. Tough call. Is DeMarco Dunn, but we got a foul called on Price Sanford. Price picked up Dunn on the switch. Boy, Fran is, I think, rightfully upset. I mean, given what they've let go tonight, yeah, I mean, to call that. Price was moving with him and had his hands yeah. up over his head. He did not slap down. Well, free throws coming. First one's good by DeMarco Dunn. As long as they even it out, 61-55. Iowa's lead is six. Another free throw coming for DeMarco Dunn. 
Second one is good. Penn State, 15 of 20 from the free throw line. Well, Penn State with that 1-2-2 press, it's been effective. McCaffrey releases for Price Sanford. Hawks break the press. They worked on this a lot at the shoot-around this morning. Here's Owen Freeman, ISO'd on Waha. Throws his shoulder in him, drives inside. He's been hammered as he does. Throws back to Bowen. He lost the dribble uh, out of bounds. Thankfully, it's off of Wahab. The Hawks have eight to shoot, 9.06 to play in the game. And Iowa leading 61-56. And an official's timeout to mop up some perspiration on the floor. Look at Asani. these numbers here, Gary. The Hawkeyes, five out of their last five field goal attempts. Penn State has not had a field goal almost four minutes. Let's make it six out of six. Here's Freeman. And five to shoot. Iowa Bowen dribbling around. He's going to have to jack up a three. No good. Off the iron. Rebounded by Price Sanford. Strong offensive board by Price. Here's a bounce inside to Cricky, who's had the hot hand for the Hawkeyes. He's harassed by Nick Kern to Price Sanford. Ten to shoot. 8.45 to play in the game. Sanford's run into, stumbled into by Ace Baldwin, who tried to play through a screen by Bowen. That's three on... Baldwin? Yeah, Baldwin. I got Bowen and Baldwin. Uh, there's a tongue twister. 8.43 to play. They put 20 back on the shot clock. Both teams with 16 fouls. Patrick McCaffrey gets it inside to Freeman. He turns, dunks, drove inside and smashed it through. Penn State. Wahab thought he was setting up a, a pitch and release, a screen, and then a roll. <laughs> he rolled, all right. Turned to the he play. just turned and dribbled around Wahab, straight down the lane, wide open, and jammed it through. Here's Wahab trying to return the favor. Jump hook is good over Owen Freeman. So the two big guys exchange baskets, and the Hawks have the ball in a five-point lead. 63-58, 8-11 to go. Entertaining Big Ten basketball here at State College. Cricky, he's got 10 points. Hands off to, McKay, uh, to McCaffrey. Sets a screen for Patrick, who retreats the other way. Nine to shoot. McCaffrey runs his man into a screen by Freeman. Now Cricky drives in from the corner. Turn back. Uh, the turn, turn around jump shot is no good. Did everything right, just couldn't convert the basket. 7.40 to play. Here's Penn State running. In the far corner with it is DeMarco Dunn. Back out top for Baldwin. Here's a standstill three good. Hicks. Zach Hicks again from three. And we're back to a two-point game. 63-61 Iowa. That's eight three-point field goals made in 19 tries for Penn State. Amazing. Not a three-point shooting team. Bryce Sanford for three. No good. Gets knocked, knocked to the floor. No call. Rebounded Wahab. 7-10 to go. Here comes Penn State on a little bit of a run. And Hicks thought about another three. Baldwin will throw up a three. It's good. Penn State's back in the lead. Timeout Iowa. Nine threes for the Nittany Lions. 7-0-1 to go in the game. And that Iowa seven-point lead disappeared in a hurry. This is Hawkeye basketball presented by Wellmark, Blue Cross, Blue Shield from Learfield. When the game goes into overtime. But the game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Nestled on the rolling greens of the iconic Finkbine Golf Course, Bump's Restaurant is open to the public year-round. Whether you're swinging by after a round of golf or just in the neighborhood, Bump's is your go-to spot for scrumptious sandwiches, shareable appetizers, and mouth-watering pizzas. Quench your thirst with our selection of local craft beers. Or let our full bar serve you a refreshing cocktail to toast to your game. Or just because it's 5 o'clock somewhere. Our happy hour from 2 to 6 p.m. is the perfect 19th hole. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram to 
catch our latest daily specials. And here's a little insider secret just for our radio listeners. Thursdays are not to be missed at Bump's Restaurant. It's BOGO Happy Hour. Buy one, get one free on select beverages from our happy hour menu. Whether you're a diehard golfer or just love a great meal with a view, Bump's Restaurant at Finkbine Golf Course is your destination. We're currently open Wednesday through Saturday. Swing on by today. Bump's at Finkbine Golf Course. Great food, great drinks, and the best views in town. See you at Bump's. Welcome back to Hawkeye Basketball from State College, Iowa. Trying to put back-to-back victories together. It's been a struggle right now. Penn State has the lead 64-63. Iowa led by seven, uh, not a minute and a half ago. And then Penn State, very Iowa-like, put together a... 8-0 run over the last minute 16. Iowa would put a 7-0 run together over a minute and a half to get the lead to five and then led by seven. But back-to-back threes by the Nittany Lions. They have nine threes and 20 attempts. Iowa three of 11 from distance. Penn State's gotten to the foul line 20 times, made 15. Iowa eight for eight. Credit the Nittany Lions. They had 12 threes at Indiana the other night. Bobby, and uh, they're making them again tonight. Yeah, they really are. They shoot a lot of threes, just haven't shot a high percentage this year, but tonight came out firing 9 of 20. That's 45% from three. A lot of basketball left to be played. I think a a few Hawkeye threes are going to yet to drop. Well, Peyton Sanford's back in the game. That's the best sign we've had tonight. Hurt that shoulder early in the second half. He's been out better part of five or six minutes. Price Sanford did a good job, and now Lodgy Dembele handling the basketball in the backcourt that's that's not good yeah and tony's got to come and demand the basketball and logic gets called for the travel turnovers have been an issue tonight that one was unforced 15 turnovers on the hawkeyes penn state averages 16 forced mistakes a game and they're right there again well, penn state's got 13 turnovers they haven't been clean and crisp either jump shot in the lane no good in and out so the turnover doesn't cost the Hawks. This trip is done. Misfires from 15 feet. Perkins into the front court for the Hawkeyes. Iowa down one with still six and a half to go. Patrick McCaffrey, Perkins between the circles. The belly comes to set a screen, but Tony's not willing to take it. Now he gets it to Cricky. Top of the free throw circle. Ben drives inside. Shut off by a double team. Peyton Sanford for three. We need him to get hot. Misses the jump shot. Patrick McCaffrey got had whacked. He got whacked from behind hard over the back. No call. Rebounded Kern. Nick Kern of Penn State to Baldwin. Penn State with the ball and a one-point lead. Six minutes to play. Top of the circle. Here's another deep three. Good. Oh, boy, oh boy. That's three in a row. I'm, I'm watching it, but I don't believe it. 30% shooter from three. Penn State back up four. McCaffrey to Cricky. Ten threes for Penn State. Here's Perkins. Trying to lose Baldwin. Give and go with Cricky. He scores and a foul. Foul call. Nice little two-man action. Perkins to Cricky. And Ben had a step on the big guy, laid it in off the glass, and now he'll be at the foul line. Iowa down 67-65. That's a nice play, as you mentioned there, Gary. The seventh assist by Tony Perkins. That's a 19th point by uh, Ben Cricky. And now the fourth foul on the big fella, Demetrius Lilly. 5.33 to play. What is it about Penn State, Iowa out here? Always a close game, and it is again tonight. Ben makes the free throw. Hawks are 9 out of 9 from the charity stripe, and it's 67-66 Penn State. McCaffrey comes out. Good job by Patrick in reserve. Back into the game. Josh Dix. Who's going to be the more physical, more uh, in? Uh, here's a shot blocked by Owen Freeman. Put back, no good. A foul called on Iowa. has been tricky. Mm. Good block by Freeman. Outstanding from behind. Wahab, though, right there for the offensive rebound. Penn State is out rebound to the Hawkeyes. Actually, Iowa's come back now. That flurry where they got the lead to seven. Hawks lead the rebounding number by three. Free throw by Wahab is good. The big guy, the seven-footer, dropping him in now. 
Penn State by two, 68-66. He's at 74%. He's a good free throw shooter for a 6'11", 7-foot tall timber. Fran McCaffrey is questioning something at the scorer's table. I'm not sure what. 5'14 to go in the game. Second free throw. That's a one-and-one, by the way, for Penn State. Makes them both. Penn State back up three. Hawks need a three to tie it. Peyton Sanford holds up just across the timeline. Boy, they really guard the passing lanes, don't they? Peyton took forever to find an open teammate. Shot clock at 14. Hawks go four in. Tony Perkins out. Gets a screen from Freeman. Tony heads to the basket. Holds up left of the lane. Throws it up and scores off Why the glass. Not? Nobody open, so I'll shoot it. 69-68 Penn State. They're just overplaying everybody, and you're right. Tony had no outlet to, to get anybody to it, and he had free reign to the uh, basket there about eight feet away. Tony's got 11. Penn State quickly into the front court. Here's a bounce pass in the lane to Wahab. Freeman has him blocked and guarded, so he gives it right back to the passer, Nick Kern, who streaked past Cricky for the layup left of the lane. Went back weak side for the score, 71-68. Hawkeye defense has not been able to get stops. Here's Perkins, who's got 11 now on the night after that last basket. Tony dribbling the ball in on Nick Kern. Here's a long three by Peyton Sanford, and he knocks it down. Oh, how refreshing was that? That yeah, was really refreshing. That was like an exhale right there. I was like, oh, thank you, Peyton. Get this game tied up. Now, let's get a defensive stop here, Dole. 71 all after Peyton Sanford's three. Peyton's got eight. And the Hawkeyes, oh, wide open look by Baldwin, hits the three. Where in the world was the defender there? Against the zone. It was like five on four is what it was. Tony got pulled in, yeah. The Baldwin the hits the three, and now they're back up three. 74-71. Unable to get stops. Here's Cricky. For Peyton, he hit one a moment ago, tries another one. That one's short, but falls right in the lap of Cricky, and he makes Should have been the fouled. putback, he was. and he was fouled. Couldn't hear the whistle. They get the foul call. I believe it's on DeMarco Dunn. Ben Cricky. Well, that's when you hustle and you move, you end up in the right spot more often than not. He's back. He's having a, a really good basketball game. The foul was going to be on Wahab there. So that is foul number two on him, and Ben Cricky will have a chance to tie this game up when we come back. Ben Cricky will with, uh, do I have that right? 22, 22 points? 22, you bet. Welcome back, Ben, in the offensive end, and a big putback there as the Hawks on the verge of tying the game when play resumes. We've got three minutes, 19 seconds to go. 74 73, Penn State. If you or someone you know needs support now, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. 988 Lifeline. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. Hi, I'm Gary Dolphin, and if you want your home to be exceptionally comfortable during these cold Iowa winters and hot, humid summers, you need to turn to Dave Lennox and your local Lennox Home Comfort Specialist. Lennox has been serving Iowa consumers since 1895, when Dave Lennox built his first furnace in Marshalltown, and Lennox is still building its high-efficiency furnaces and air conditioners there today. For the best home comfort system you can buy, it's Lennox and your local Lennox dealer. Lennox and the Hawkeyes. Now there's a winning combination. This is John. Hey, my name is John Jackson. He's not some actor. He's a steward of the land with a John Deere 3 Series tractor and a PTO Quick Connect that hooks up rear implements with a single click. John runs with us because to him, there's nothing more important than connecting with the land. Nothing runs like a deer. Hear John's story at deer.com. Stop by your local John Deere dealer for a test drive today or learn more at deer.com. Your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Iowa basketball. 
We're back at the Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield broadcast booth. Gary Dolphin with Bobby Hansen. What a game back and forth we go. We haven't had as many lead changes and ties as the Ohio State game the other night, but we've logged six ties, uh, seven ties, six lead changes. And Ben Cricky has Tied a chance again. to tie it up again. Do it. He's matched his uniform number almost. He's got 22 points. Good to see Ben back in an offensive flow. It's Peyton Sanford hit a big three a minute ago. Cricky, Owen Freeman, Perkins, and Patrick McCaffrey. Oh, and way short with that free throw. Peyton Sanford, though, had the rebound, knocked away, and taken away by Penn State. Peyton just not quite strong enough to secure it. Or well, the Hawks would have had another shot in the offensive end. Here's a drive right to left by DeMarco Dunn. He throws it back out to the point. And Zach Hicks has been big from the perimeter here in the last few minutes. 74-73, Penn State's lead is one. Here's a give and go with Wahab, the big fellow. Jump hook in the lane, good. Nothing you can do about it. That, that tall go-to shot right there. Every time Wahop's coming over his left shoulder to the jump hook. Miss Iowa free throw leads to a jump hook score by Wahab. Penn State up three. There's Tony Perkins trapped in the lane, finds Cricky on the wing. Two and a half minutes to play. Hawks overload that right side. Perkins works the dribble in on DeMarco Dunn. Now to McCaffrey. Hawks having a tough time finding any kind of lane in the lane. Here's three seconds to shoot. Steal by Baldwin. And a foul on Iowa. Ben Cricky was muscling his way in the lane to the basket, knowing that he only had a few precious seconds on the shot clock. And Baldwin, Baldwin came in and picked him waist high. Now free throws coming for Penn State. Two minutes, 18 seconds to go. Penn State up three and a very good free throw shooter, 80% in Ace Baldwin, the former Atlantic 10 player of the year at the line. First one is good. Penn State will look back at this free throw line if they win this game. Now 18 for 23. They have nine more makes at the foul line than the Hawkeyes do. 77-73, Nittany Lions. Going for their third consecutive win, Penn State is. And both free throws are good for Baldwin. Now they'll pressure full court, make the Hawks squeeze some more time off the clock. Here's Freeman into the front court. 2.10 to go. Owen hands it off to McCaffrey. Back to Perkins. Hawks need a score every possession from here on out. Perkins has the ball knocked away, gets it back, and then throws it away. Oh, unbelievable. We heard about Penn State's defense, didn't believe it, at least not to this degree, and now Iowa with 17 turnovers. Got to be a season high, isn't it? I would think it by far. There's a crossover dribble. Kearns gets inside, now retreats to the center of the floor, knowing that the clock is on their side. And here's some more acting. The shot goes down. Ace Baldwin. Falling around like he got hit by a mallet. Just flipped the shot up there. It went in. And the official baited into the call. 80-73. to 73. Penn State now has run in a 6-0. I'll say 7-0, but it's 6-0. And soon to be 7-0 if... Uh, Baldwin makes this free throw. Penn State, 138 to go and up 7, 80 to 73. Turnovers are such a killer, Gary, in any level of basketball. And the Hawkeyes, uncharacteristically, 17 turnovers tonight, but only led to 13 points, but they just given up possession. Yeah, that's the big thing. I mean, there's only a two-point differential in points off turnovers, but when you're down five, you can't give the ball up like that. A minute 38 to go. Peyton Sanford's having a little... Uh, redress of his uh, knee pad by uh, trainer Brad Floyd. We're ready to go. Well, it feels like March Madness, and it's March Madness at Authentic Brand, too. They've got a great March Madness lineup for 2024's run to the title next month. Log on to Authentic-Brand.com Authentic-Brand.com and check out your favorite school. We know it's the Hawks. Whether it's uh, Polos, T-shirts, all kinds of accessories, fanny packs, 
Authentic-brand.com. Get your March Madness order in now. Baldwin for the Anwan, and it's good. Penn State up eight, 81-73. Get some threes. Penn State will be in Iowa City at the end of February. you got to come out and watch this team against the Hawkeyes. It's been an entertaining battle tonight. Hawks are running out of time. Peyton Sanford, a catch-and-shoot three. That's short. Peyton's uh, struggled all night. They really identified him as three for nine from the field and two of seven from three. One ten to go. Penn State up 81-73. And they'll spread the floor and run the shot clock well down under a minute to go. Four quarters almost. Here's Baldwin. He and Tony Perkins are getting after each other. Baldwin with five to shoot. Lobs up a three. Good. <laughs> oh, boy. When you feel it, you feel it. And that'll seal it. Here's a hook shot right of the lane. Good by Patrick McCaffrey. Uh, timeout. Coach McCaffrey, 46.5 to go. And Iowa down nine, 84-75. Well, they'll sell a few more seats going forward in this cavernous uh, Bryce Jordan Center. You know, an interesting thing with uh, nine new faces, they're all veterans. They've all played for quality Division I programs, and you heard uh, assistant coach Joe uh, Chrisman on the pregame show said it's taken 20 games for these guys to get some unity, some fluidity to their game. Uh, as a team, and well, they've showed that again tonight. You know, that and uh, 12 made threes will help you, Bobby. Yeah, 12 of uh, 23, Gary. That is uh, fantastic three-point shooting. 52% for a team that shoots, what, 33% uh, on the season. They take a lot of them. They haven't made a lot of them. Tonight they did, and uh, yeah, they were tested here by the Hawkeyes. Hawkeyes took the lead, 63-61 uh, uh, in there, but they responded right in the middle. That was three with back-to-back-to-back three-point field goals. Yeah, every time the Hawks could get a lead, Penn State would come right back with Baldwin. Or Kearns Hicks. or uh, DeMarco Dunn, uh, Zach Hicks hit, a, hit big threes. So you look at it, they've got um, one, two, three, four, five, five different guys three. with threes, three each for Jameel Brown and Zach Hicks. So the Hawks will pressure full court with 46.7 to play. And it comes to Hicks, courtesy of Nick Kern, now an immediate foul on Iowa. Hawkeye basketball has been brought to you tonight by Growmark. Looking for bigger, bolder, better yields? FS Envision Seed Corn and FS High Soy Soybeans are here to change the game. Our seed products deliver winning results every single time. Reach out to your local FS retailer or visit fsc.com to learn more. Number 24. A great trip out here. want to welcome uh, Dad Brian and daughter uh, Danielle on the trip. Brad, uh, Brian is actually from uh, New Jersey. His dad is a 1951 Iowa grad. Danielle is a senior or a junior at Syracuse University. He's on the uh, synchronized skating team, but she's thinking about getting her master's at Iowa. Both free throws are good. Here's a drive and a score by McCaffrey. So Patrick gets the basket back off the two made free throws at the other end by Penn State. It's still a nine point game with 85 or uh, 86 77 with 35.2 to play in the game. So welcome to uh, Brian. They're from Rhodes, uh, Iowa, originally out near uh, Marshalltown. Dad, a 1951 grad, the University of Iowa, 1951 was a, an executive with McGraw Hill who sold college textbooks for a lot of years and then was a founding member of Berkeley College in Manhattan and Brian works there they uh, successfully were the winning bidders at the Chris Street golf outing for a road trip with the Hawkeyes great people Brian and daughter Danielle she's thinking about coming to Iowa for her master's degree and Hopefully she does. Really nice folks from New Jersey, and Great we people. thank them for uh, her contribution to the Iowa basketball program. And 
memory of Chris Street and, and the golf tournament. They were bidding online. They said to make sure you thank Shelly Deutsch. Really helped him through that the whole process <laughs> as it went uh, online, and then it went live, and then it went online again. Shelly kept upping the bid. Of course, Shelly's playing with house money. What the heck? But Brian wanted it. He wasn't going to let it get away. And it was great to have him on the trip. They'll fly back with us to Iowa City, spend some more time uh, seeing neighbors and relatives uh, the next couple days. All right, we're set to go. Hawks need a miracle here down 86-77. Need a turnover right here. Well, that would help. That'd be part of the miracle. And some threes. Brock Harding is back in the game, and he's shadowing Ace Baldwin. They get it to Ace anyway, and he's fouled immediately. Hey, it's a new season at Kohl's. Find fresh, everyday styles for you and your home at great prices. Shop Kohl's and Kohl's.com. Kohl's. Proud supporter of Hawkeye basketball. Now the difference, Bobby, 22 of 27 from the foul line and 12 of 23 from distance. Hawks 4 of 15 from 3. Very good at the free throw line. 9 of 10. Just didn't get there enough. Just didn't get there enough and didn't uh, get free, uh, three pointers to drop there, Gary. And too many turnovers. 17 turnovers. They'll tell you that first thing everyone yep. will tell you. Like, we are not a turnover team and for some reason turned it over here tonight against Penn State. Yeah, and, and, you know, Penn State by far and away leads the Big Ten forcing 16 turnovers a game. And they proved it again tonight. Baldwin hits both free throws. He's really racking up the points at the foul line. 21 for the game for Ace Baldwin. Perfect 9 for 9 from the foul line. Jump shot is good by Brock Harding. So the Hawks are trading free throws for a basket. 88-79. Another timeout used by Iowa. 27.5 to go. Hawkeye basketball has been brought to you by Bud and Mary's. Bud & Mary's has the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. And getting a medical card is fast and easy online. Visit BudMary.com, BudMary.com, and learn more. Stay with us. We'll head right to the uh, U.S. Cellular postgame show. Some of the stations along the network will carry the Hawkeye women's basketball game that will join in progress. We're about to get underway with Penn State in Iowa City. The Nittany Lions, now this Penn State team, this rejuvenated Penn State team, comes to Iowa City on February 27th for an 8 o'clock tip. Make your plans to come on out. Hawks host Minnesota Sunday, Sunday afternoon. We'd love to see you at Carver Hawkeye Arena. For tickets, call 1-800-IA-HAWKS. 1-800-IA-HAWKS. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. A 10-second station identification break along the Hawkeye Radio Network. You're listening to Hawkeye Basketball. Penn State inbounds and an immediate foul called on the Hawkeyes. Zero, Kanye Clary at the line. Well, we zipped through the first uh, 39 minutes. Might take that long to play the last 26 seconds. Rare free throw miss. Ben Cricky comes back in the game. Ben will be our Old Dominion best in the game for the Hawkeyes. Ben with a terrific, a real nice bounce back. 22 points for Ben tonight. He played hard inside against those 6'11". Tall dudes. Second free throw is good by Dunn. 20 seconds to go. And a throw away by Patrick McCaffrey. That's 18 turnovers in Iowa. Fran McCaffrey says back off. That'll be at 89-79. Penn State wins it by 10. The U.S. Cellular postgame show is next. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. You've been listening to healthy coverage of the Iowa Hawkeyes, presented by Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Also brought to you by Linux and your local Linux home comfort specialist. Made right here in Iowa since 1895. Shelter Insurance. Find an agent for your auto, home, and life at shelterinsurance.com. Iowa Lottery. Be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit ialottery.com for details. Bud Light. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. And buy. 
Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge, just minutes south of Iowa City. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Whether you're building a backyard fence for your family's new best friend or firing up the excavator for your next commercial project, a free and simple call can save you from expensive fines and even save your life. Call 811 at least two days before you start your next project to have underground utility lines located and marked. At MidAmerican Energy, your safety is our number one priority. So make it your priority to call 811 before you dig. Paid for by the customers of MidAmerican Energy. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular's award-winning network? It's free for 30 days. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular even faster? Just get a race car driver to be your personal chauffeur. Just let me buckle my... Whoa! Hey, my calls and data work great out here. Test drive U.S. Cellular free for 30 days. Named the leader in 5G coverage in Iowa. You can pull over now. Please. U.S. Cellular. Built for us. Terms apply. Awards based on open signal independent data. Visit uscellular.com for details. Ground beef is only $2.99 a pound at Hy-Vee. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the Hy-Vee Perks membership. And $2.99 a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the Hy-Vee Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop. And count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for ground beef every day, sign up for Hy-Vee Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. Around here, Jack Frost nips more than just your nose. That's why the Midwest gets Honda. Dependable, all-wheel drive, with heated steering wheel and seats to keep Jack Frost off your seat. Nice. Which will make it very happy. And since it's no fun to gas up in this weather, isn't it cool that Honda has such legendary fuel efficiency? New Hondas are arriving, but so is Mr. Frost. So see your Central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. On the Hawkeye Sports Network, from Learfield, Hawkeye Basketball has been brought to you by Authentic Brand. It's more than just a label, it's a statement. University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. By your local Ford dealers. U.S. Bank, proud to support Iowa basketball. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. And by... Iowa Lottery. Be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit IALottery.com for details. This is the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. U.S. Cellular, built for the Hawkeyes. Built for silencing notifications and turning up the noise. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Open with Bobby Hanson, this is the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. Hawks lose here at Penn State 89 79. Bobby, rarely do you shoot 56% yeah. from the field and get beat. Yeah, just too many turnovers. 18 turnovers. That's a season high for the Hawkeyes, but they, they battled. I thought they had them there in the second half, Gary, when they went up by seven. It was 63-56. Owen Freeman hit a basket, and then uh, they, they come back with a Wahop basket and three straight three-point field goals made and uh, just sort of started taking off at that point. Now, did get her tied on a Peyton Sanford three-pointer at 71, but uh, in the end, uh, it was Ace Baldwin at the free throw line. He hit a three, and uh, the Hawks just uh, couldn't climb their way out of that hole. And that 63-56 lead occurred at the 8:38 mark to go. Iowa on a 12-1 run went up seven with eight and a half to go. But uh, credit Penn State, they had an answer for every Iowa run. And you know what? Uh, when you make 12 threes, uh, they had eight more threes than did the Hawkeyes. And 16, or plus 16 at the foul line. Yeah, that, uh, that's uh, and, and a lot of that, to your original point about turnovers, uh, that'll get you uh, in a bad mood and a foul mood and get you sideways, and it did tonight as the Hawks lose it. 89-79. We're back to take it apart next on the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Equity salutes today's hero of the game as a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season. Please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. 
Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon. When you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments, your bacon called, it's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loans subject to credit approval and analysis. See credit union for details. Do you want to play an integral part in helping the Hawks win championships? Now is your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm today and partner with Iowa football and the Iowa men's and women's basketball programs to serve charities in eastern Iowa. Your tax-deductible Swarm donation will compensate our Iowa student-athletes for working to further the missions of local charities such as the United Way, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and more. Go to iowaswarm.com for more information and make Iowa athletics the place for our student-athletes to experience the thrill of winning championships. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon when you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments. Your bacon called. It's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loan subject to credit approval and analysis. See credit union for details. Hawkeye Basketball on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Get your medical card online and visit their dispensary for the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Search Bud and Mary's online. Welcome back to the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show here on the Hawkeye Radio Network. U.S. Cellular, a proud sponsor of the Iowa Hawkeyes. U.S. Cellular wants you to make the most of today by Choosing game day traditions first and scrolling later. U.S. Cellular built for us. Ben Cricky will join us uh, from the Iowa locker room here in just a minute. Let's start our High V post game stat recap. Score big savings with the all new, totally free High V perks membership. High V 89 79, the final. Iowa loses. The Hawks are now 13 and 10 on the season and uh, underwater by two games in the Big Ten at 5 and 7 with Minnesota next up. Sunday afternoon, Penn State gets above 500 for the year at 12 and 11, and now level 500. They move a game ahead of the Hawkeyes at six and six in the Big Ten. Iowa will have a chance at redemption in a couple weeks in Iowa City. Here's the way the stats uh, play out for the Hawkeyes: 33 of 59. That's 56 percent, but just four of 15 from distance. As Penn State identified uh, Iowa's three-point shooters, namely Perkins and Peyton Sanford and Josh Dixon. Really throttled that outside jump shot tonight. Hawks just 26% from three. Ben Cricky did a lot of damage inside, though. Ben uh, led Iowa with 22 points, made 10 of 18 shots. Two others in double figures, 11 for Patrick McCaffrey off the bench. Patrick is our hot Hawkeye, courtesy of the Lennox dealers of Iowa. More on that in a minute. Also 11 points for Tony Perkins, but Tony really had to work. Took only eight shots. Uh, as they were pounding on Tony all night long. He had 11-8 for Peyton Sanford, 3 of 9 from the field for Peyton. Nine points for Owen Freeman, again uh, saddled with foul issues. Uh, Owen made all four of his field goal attempts, a couple dunks in there, and his only free throw, uh, and uh, had five rebounds, but uh, uh, just couldn't stay on the floor, played... uh, Let's see, what did he log in the end? Uh, just 26 minutes, which is four or five minutes more than uh, last game up. But uh, he'll learn. The freshman, so much fun to watch. He just needs to log more minutes, and you can't do it when you're in foul trouble. Patrick McCaffrey, our Lennox postgame, heating up the Nets. Hot Hawkeye. Patrick hit five of seven shots, played 22 minutes. It's good to see him coming back into form. 11 points, total couple rebounds, couple of assists, had one big steal. Uh, when the game was still close. Patrick McCaffrey, uh, this game's hot Hawkeye, courtesy of the Lennox Dealers of Iowa, like Don and Waltz in Manchester, Mechanical Air Systems Company in Mason City. In Omaha, stop in and see A1 United Heating and Air Conditioning, Camblin Plumbing and Heating in Shenandoah, Red Oak, and North Central Iowa Services out in Webster City. Rest of the stats, the Hawks uh, out-rebounded Penn State by two, 28 to 26. Uh, For uh, Penn State, their leading scorer on the game, uh, Ace Baldwin Jr., 22 points, nine of those from the foul line. He hit three threes. Penn State, 12 of 23 
from distance from the three-point stripe. That that was the difference in the game. Unless you look at 25 made free throws in 31 attempts, take your pick. But they uh, they whipped the Hawks uh, soundly in both of those categories. Again, Baldwin, the uh, former Atlantic 10 Conference uh, Player of the Year at Virginia Commonwealth, 22 points, 14 each for Quadis Wahab, the giant center at 6'11". He hit six of eight shots, most of those from in close, and uh, plucked seven rebounds. Zach Hicks with three threes. Uh, among his 14 points, he had six rebounds. Nine for Jameel Brown, eight for Kanye Clary as he works back into shape. Uh, DeMarco Dunn had four three-point goals and 12 total points, four and double figures for Penn State. They really spread the wealth around those nine transfers uh, from, take your, take your pick, North Carolina, Georgetown, Maryland, Virginia Commonwealth, uh, Missouri, Kansas City. Uh, Mike Rhodes in his first year uh, has really built a nice roster here through 20-some games. In the end, Penn State shoots 26 of 50. That's 52% with 12 three-point goals, 52% from three, and 25 of 31 from the foul line. They also turn the Hawks over 18 times. Now, the points off turnovers, uh, no discrepancy, really. 15 points for Iowa, 14 for Penn State. But critical possessions, uh, particularly in the final 10 minutes, uh, when you can't give the ball up and expect to come back and win on the road anyway. And uh, the Hawks, uh, just too many turnovers. They know that. They'll get back to work tomorrow in prep for a Minnesota. Iowa uh, at the foul line tonight, very good. They just didn't get there enough, 9 of 10. So there you have the high V stat recap. Coming back with more postgame in a minute, courtesy of U.S. Cellular. Iowa loses 89-79 to the Nittany Lions here at State College. And this is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Hawk fans, stop in and visit the newly renovated guest rooms at Hyatt Regency Coralville Hotel and Conference Center located in the heart of Iowa River Landing. Stay within walking distance of Extreme Arena, home of the Iowa Hawkeye volleyball team, as well as great restaurants, shopping, and scenic walking trails along the Iowa River. Hyatt Regency Coralville is also the home of Hawk Talk with Lisa Bluter and Fran McCaffrey this fall. Come together at Hyatt Regency Coralville, where everything you need is right here. This is John. Hey, my name is John Jackson. He's not some actor. He's a steward of the land with a John Deere 3 Series tractor and a PTO Quick Connect that hooks up rear implements with a single click. John runs with us because to him, there's nothing more important than connecting with the land. Nothing runs like a deer. Hear John's story at deer.com. Stop by your local John Deere dealer for a test drive today or learn more at deer.com. Your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Iowa basketball. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. The big game, family, friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. Get our post game show. Let's take our first trip inside the Hawkeye locker room with our Old Dominion best in the game, courtesy of Old Dominion Freightline. Old Dominion Freightline works hard to be the best in their game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in theirs, like Iowa forward Ben Cricky. Ben was a war horse tonight. Uh, he was an Iron Man. 38 minutes, 22 points, made 10 of 18 shots. Two of three from the free throw line, grab five rebounds to boot. Ben Cricky, our Old Dominion best in the game, and I know it's a small consolation to you, but it was good to see you back uh, piling up the points and rebounds again tonight. Uh, been a tough stretch for you, but you got you got to keep working at it, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. No, I felt like the last four games or so, I just haven't really been myself. I'm happy today to just get my confidence back a little bit and you know be aggressive and. Obviously, would have loved to 
come out with a win. And, uh, you know, that's that's the most frustrating part for, for me and my team right now. Yeah, no doubt. And, you know, it's one thing, you know, you're on the road. Uh, you, you had some great runs in the first, in each half, really, and you're up seven with eight and a half minutes to go. You came from eight back at the, at the half and then got up seven playing Iowa basketball. Yeah. But the turnovers uh, seemed to leave the door open for Penn State. And, and, you know, they got good players, too. They got nine transfers, and all of them are veterans. So, uh, you know, I, I tend to give the opponent – uh, maybe more credit than they deserve, but you got to hand it to Baldwin and those guys. Uh, they they didn't blink when they were down uh, seven. They came right back at you. Yeah, I mean those guys made big timely plays down the stretch, and we got to find ways to when we're up, you know, seven or whatever it is with, you know, not long in the game left. We got to find ways to close that out. I thought same thing in the first half when we went up seventeen to ten, and then in a, in a blink of an eye, you know, it's tied game and we find ourselves down. Uh, we got to find a way to get stops. I think Coach said they scored, you know, 12 of the last 13 possessions in the game, and, and that's just unacceptable, honestly. And yeah, we got to find ways to to close it out and just play smarter ball and, and take care of the ball. We knew that coming in that they would pressure us, and and we let that pressure get to us. Well, you got a, a, a chance uh, for a redemption in a couple of weeks when they come to Iowa City. But what is it about that? Whether it's the one-two-two full court or just their, their man pressure, what is it? I mean, they, they were really over guarding the passing lanes for one thing, but what is it about the defense in general for Penn State? Yeah, I mean, in that full court press, they're definitely very active with their hands and they fly around with their feet and they're very good at anticipating, you know, passes and, and reading the guards and, and the big people's eyes, you know, for, for skip passes, uh, you know, down the court and everything like that. So I'm mean, going give credit to them. But at the same time, we, we worked on that for you know, two, three days and, and saw a ton of film on it. And I thought coming in that we'd be, you know, ready for it. And uh, when push came to shove, we we weren't. Uh, and at the other end, the Hawkeye defense, uh, is not, not that they weren't, uh, Iowa wasn't guarding the three, but boy, when you make 12 threes, it, it's tough to win, isn't it? Yeah, no, absolutely. I think they, they made 12 and, and we only attempted 15. So that's... Uh, it's tough to win games like that. Also, they had a, a big advantage at the free throw line. They were just, you know, being more physical and more aggressive, and and uh, you know, almost forcing us to foul. And and uh, it's hard. It's hard to win with those numbers from three in the free throw line. Well, you got one of those short turnarounds now. Get back uh, late tonight. Rest up uh, tomorrow. Uh, get a workout in. And Minnesota comes in on uh, Sunday, and they're playing some of their best basketball. You know that. Yeah, no, we we have to be ready for that, and obviously we we played them well at their place, and you know it, it hasn't been too long, but you know at this stage at this stage in the season, teams are uh, you know playing their best ball and, and starting to ramp it up a little bit, and it's all about peaking at the right time. So we have to be ready. We have to get that one, and and uh, hopefully we can go from there. Thanks for your time, Ben. Congratulations. Solid game tonight by Ben Cricky, our best in the game, courtesy of Old Dominion Freight Line. Let's do a recap of the uh, free throw line. You mentioned the free throw line. Boy, I tell you, the Nittany Lions, 25 of 31. I mean, you get there 31 times and make 25. Uh, you are spot on. And our free throw recap is courtesy of Latham Seeds. The charity stripe recap to benefit the Cancer Society. Iowa, 9 of 10. Hard to beat 90%, but when you get out free throwed by 16, uh, that that's difficult to overcome. Penn State, 25 of 31. That's 81%. And that's our charity stripe update from Latham High Tech Seeds. Just like the Hawks' diverse talents, no seed company has more trade and genetic diversity than Latham High Tech Seeds. Thank you, Latham, for supporting Hawkeye basketball and the American Cancer Society through the Hawkeye Charity Stripe promotion all season long. We'll come back for some highlights on tonight's game in just a minute. This is the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. Penn State holds off the Hawkeyes 89-79. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon. When you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments, your bacon called, it's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loans subject to credit approval and analysis. See credit union for details. Everyone knows the BBB is the Better Business Bureau, but depending on what you need, it's the Better Plumber Bureau, the Better Auto Mechanic Bureau, the Better Accountant Bureau. That's because the BBB connects people with businesses they can trust. So think of the BBB as the better check that business out first so you don't get ripped off bureau. Be smart. Always look for the BBB seal because it's looking out for you. Find a better business anytime at BBB.org. 
Do you want to play an integral part in helping the Hawks win championships? Now is your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm today and partner with Iowa football and the Iowa men's and women's basketball programs to serve charities in Eastern Iowa. Your tax-deductible Swarm donation will compensate our Iowa student-athletes for working to further the missions of local charities such as the United Way, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and more. Go to iowaswarm.com for more information and make Iowa athletics the place for our student-athletes to experience the thrill of winning championships. American Equity salutes today's hero of the game. As a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season, please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. Hawkeye Basketball on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Get your medical card online and visit their dispensary for the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Search Bud and Mary's online. 89-79, Penn State beats Iowa by 10 here tonight at State College in Big Ten Basketball. Let's relive some of the moments. Bobby Hansen is joining us in just a minute with Coach Fran McCaffrey from the Hawkeye Locker Room. Iowa got down 5 nothing at the start, but then roared back on a 7-0 run. Tony Perkins' steal and dunk put the Hawks up 3. Here's Dix. Muscles his way inside. Shot is up and good and countered a blocking foul called on Penn State. Nice spin dribble move in the lane about five, six, seven feet away from the basket. And a little suspended jump shot in midair draws the and one for Dick. Yeah, Josh made the free throw and that chopped that 5-0 lead. Uh, in half, better uh, than in half. Five to three, the Hawks trailed by two. That was the start of that 7-0 run. Perkins put the Hawks up three a moment later. Now directing traffic left wing is Nick Kern. And a steal by Tony Perkins. A bad pass stolen away. Tony with a one-arm dunk at the other end as he picked off DeMarco Dunn. A bad pass by Kern. Turnover Penn State. 10-7 Isle. Now right side, Peyton Sanford, a catch and shoot and a score, a three-point goal by Peyton Sanford. And the Hawkeyes regain the lead 13-10 on the strength of their first triple of the night. 11 points for Tony Perkins, Peyton Sanford with that big three. Uh, One of two three-point goals for Peyton tonight uh, put Iowa up uh, 13-10. Perkins steal and run out dunk put Iowa up three at 10-7. They hit another three to tie it, and then Peyton drills the three five minutes into the game the hawks were up three uh, a couple minutes later josh dix would uh, extend the iowa lead to six right wing to hicks now they go right of the lane knocked away from wahab nice job freeman hawks running out a dunk by dix a dix dunk it's 15 10 iowa with five lightning fast points yeah, you know, Penn State uh, turned the ball over 13 times uh, this evening, but not a lot in the final six to, eight, uh, six to eight minutes when they got control of the game. So the Hawks led by six there, but trailed by eight at halftime, 42 to 34. Big run by the Nittany Lions. Again, a lot of that off of Iowa turnovers. And the Hawkeyes went to the locker room, certainly not out of it, down by eight, 42 34 at the break. And Iowa got right back, not only uh, in the game, but in front early on in the second half. Started with Tony, uh, or with Owen Freeman, who was uh, saddled with two personal fouls uh, in the first half. Owen went right to work at the start of the second period. 13 50 to play in the game. Tony to Price Sanford. He drives inside, throws it off the glass, and in. Price Sanford, understanding the shot clock was about to go off, flipped it up there, and down it went. Price Sanford was in for his injured brother, Peyton, who thankfully came back from that shoulder ding early in the second half. Hawks were within four at 42-38. A score by Penn State put him back up six. And then our star of the game, our Old Dominion best of the best, Ben Crippy. Uh, ben Crickey hit a step-back jumper. Bowen gets baseline where he's trapped, finds McCaffrey, high post left, bounce inside to Cricky. He goes in against a double team, hits the shot, little suspended midair move. Ben Cricky with his 22-point effort tonight on 10 of 18 shooting. That's his seventh 20-point game this season. Hawks were down 444-40 early on in the second half. Iowa would catch Penn State uh, three minutes later at 46-all. 
53-49. Price Sanford, or McCaffrey, Patrick, excuse me. Yeah. Patrick counters with a nice drive into the lane as the Hawks' movement beat the Nittany Lions down the floor. 53-51. Penn State's lead is two. Price Sanford uh, paid dividends off the bench tonight. The Hawks uh, down to at 53-51, went on a 12-1 run, and Price Sanford had a key, key basket in that blitz. Here's Sanford leading the charge the other way. Cricky with a layup and a score. 53 all. Iowa, Penn State tied up. 53-53 on that Ben Cricky layup. Price uh, Cricky hit another jumper to put Iowa up 55-54, followed by that Price Sanford three-point basket. 58-54 Iowa. The Hawks would eventually get the lead uh, to a seven on that 12-1 run. 63-56 with eight and a half to go in the game, uh, but couldn't sustain it. Penn State with another big run, and they win it going away. 89-79. Those are the highlights from tonight's game. Let's go uh, to the Iowa locker room. Bobby Hansen's ready with Hawkeye basketball coach Fran McCaffrey. Brought to you by your Iowa John Deere dealers, including Bowden Steiner Implement in Decorah. Bobby has Fran's thoughts. Coach, you knew going into it, everybody talked about it. you got to handle the pressure defense, can't turn it over against this team. And this is not a turnover team, Iowa is. And tonight, 18 turnovers. Your thoughts on the game? You can't turn it over 18 times, Bobby, but our defense was not what it needed to be. We go up seven with under 10 minutes to go, and they score a bunch of times in a row. We, were, we weren't tough enough at either end, and, and that's disappointing. Uh, we were really good at times. And we had individuals who were really good at times, and that's encouraging. But we have to be tougher, especially on the road. Talk about to Ben Cricky. He had a tough go the last couple of games, but he really shined tonight. Well, he was really aggressive, Bobby, and that's what we need him to be. We went to him, and, and he, he answered the bell for us. I'm really proud of him. And off the bench, you got a really good contribution from both Patrick and the Price when Peyton took a stinger or something, but Price made some big plays. Price was terrific. He's been really good in practice. He earned those minutes. Uh, Patrick, same thing. You know, he's back healthy. It was really aggressive attack in the basket, active defensively. And those two guys are really good. I, I, I thought Brock was on his way, but then he turned his ankle. So I was a little reluctant to go back to him. Maybe I should have because he looked like he was okay at the end when I put him in for the last couple minutes. But uh, he looked like he was really hurt uh, in the first half. He did, and, and uh, I, I like the effort of uh, Dembele in there. He was battling. He was uh, you know, a little bit undersized in there, but he, he was giving you everything you had. He was active. He had to play a lot because Owen was in, in foul trouble again. I thought when Owen was out there, he was really good. And I just want, to con I want him to continue to be aggressive like he, like he was in those three or four possessions. Uh, we need him out there. Coach, not to beat a dead horse, but uh, the, the complexion changed when Owen picks up that second foul. And you see when he's back in there in the second half, you're a different team. I mean, how do you correct the fouling situation? He's working on it, Bob. We talk to him. We show it to him on film. We try to work on his positioning, uh, be less handsy, pushing, grabbing, talling up, uh, and then you know getting that first rebound so we don't have to play defense an extra couple times. I think he'll get there. He, he really is trying. He really wants it. And, Coach, what was your message to the team uh, after, after this tough loss? You know we need to be we need to be tougher defensively, especially when we go, we go up seven. That's really one thing that disappointed me. Our execution uh, was just okay, but they made they scramble you a little bit, so you just got to go make plays. Uh, we had so you know when it's an up tempo, fast game with teams pressing and running, and I tell you, there's going to be some turnovers. But we probably had three or four that we shouldn't have had, maybe five uh, that were. You know, I don't say unforced, but you know, situations where we should have been able to move the ball and at least get a shot opportunity. So uh, we'll learn from it. And coach, uh, chance to get to Minnesota, who's playing uh, better uh, than they have the last few games. Uh, Minnesota comes in on Sunday afternoon. A quick thought on on the Gophers. Yeah, they were playing really well the last time we played them. And they, they they've got a terrific team. They've got good players. Uh, they've experienced winning, and uh, they they have depth. They've got some guys that are really stepping up off the bench. So we got our hands full. We'll get them ready. Okay, Coach, thank you. Thanks, Bobby. Thank you, Coach McCaffrey and Bobby Hanson in the Hawkeye locker room. Brought to you by your Iowa under.
Great Iowa John Deere dealers, including Bowden Steiner Implement in Decorah. Bowden Steiner Implement, your trusted John Deere dealer with 10 locations in Northeast Iowa to serve you. We'll come back and wrap up our U.S. Southern Postgame show. We'll check the scoreboard next. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Around here, Jack Frost nips more than just your nose. That's why the Midwest gets Honda. Dependable, all-wheel drive, with heated steering wheel and seats to keep Jack Frost off your seat, which will make it very happy. And since it's no fun to gas up in this weather, isn't it cool that Honda has such legendary fuel efficiency? New Hondas are arriving, but so is Mr. Frost. So see your Central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, whoa, whoa coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel, good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, the hotel at Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel, the Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, the area's premier realtor, and Melrose Meadows, voted Iowa City's best retirement community. Jill Armstrong and her team strive to make every buyer and seller at ease with the real estate process. If you are in the market to buy or sell a home, contact the Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty. For all your real estate needs, call 319-631-5455. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen, 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. We're back on the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. Before we wrap things up, let's uh, look at the scoreboard and points in the paint, courtesy of Spawn and Rose. Why wait to repaint your home to freshen it to sell? Take a quick trip to your local Spawn and Rose. Pick up some new colors from the Valspar paint rack and start painting so you can enjoy it now. For interior makeovers, only Valspar Medallion Paint and Primer has color affinity for one color, one coat color that lasts and lasts. For exteriors, it provides fade resistant color, coverage, and true weather tight toughness. Thank you, Spawn and Rose, for being there. For those that want to freshen up their home, start here and finish with perfection at your local Spot and Rose all across eastern and central Iowa. Paint scores, uh, the Hawkeyes certainly uh, owned uh, that stat tonight, 46-26. But, of course, when you make 12 threes, you don't have to go inside as much as uh, we would like you to, although Penn State's uh, post players, Wahab and uh, uh, the other 6'11 kid, I Lily, uh, Demetrius Lily. I remember the first name, couldn't remember the last name, but either way, that was a double whammy in there. They they certainly it was a different game to Bobby's point in uh, the Fran McCaffrey interview when Owen Freeman was on the floor. The Hawks were much stiffer defensively in the lane, but the 12 threes uh, negated uh, uh, any, any intent of uh, Penn State trying to drive the ball inside. And so, therefore, the Hawks had 20 more paint scores, uh, courtesy of Spahn and Rose. Now, the scoreboard, before we say goodnight, not a whole lot going on this uh, Thursday evening. The Hawkeye women have reached the end of the first quarter, and Penn State has a two-point lead, 25-23. Penn State over the Hawkeye women back at Carver in Iowa City after one period. A couple ranked teams for the men in action, uh, number eight, Arizona, uh, at Utah, tough road date there, leading by four, 63-59 with nine minutes to go on that game. And uh, uh, number twentieth, uh, number 20, Florida Atlantic, has a seven-point lead midway through the first half on Alabama-Birmingham. That is our U.S. Bank scoreboard update. And that will conclude our coverage from Penn State tonight, where the Hawks fall uh, 89-79 to the Nittany Lions. The Hawks dropped to 13-10 and on the year. Five and seven in the Big Ten. Short turnaround. Minnesota comes calling on Super Sunday. Uh, this uh, Sunday afternoon, we'll be on the air at one o'clock with our pregame coverage. 
Two o'clock for the tip as the Hawks go for the regular season sweep of the Gophers. Thanks so much for joining us tonight here from State College. Again, the final score, the Nittany Lions 89 and the Hawkeyes 79. This is the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show, and this is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. The big game. Family. Friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash fan of corn. True cannabis products like concentrates, vapes, tablets, creams are available legally in Iowa, but only at licensed medical dispensaries. Get a med card online, quick and easy. I got mine in less than a day. Chronic pain is the most common condition. Search for Bud and Mary's online or call their dispensary to learn how you can get your med card. Bud and Mary's grows real cannabis, not hemp. That means their products contain real THC with no percentage limits. Find an Iowa licensed dispensary near you at BudMary.com. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular's award-winning network? It's free for 30 days. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular even faster? Just get a race car driver to be your personal chauffeur. Just let me buckle my... Whoa! Hey, my calls and data work great out here. Test drive U.S. Cellular free for 30 days. Name the leader in 5G coverage in Iowa. You can pull over now, please. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Awards based on open signal independent data. Visit uscellular.com for details. You've been listening to the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. U.S. Cellular, built for the Hawkeyes. Built for silencing notifications and turning up the noise. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Hawkeye basketball has been brought to you by Authentic Brand, unique Hawkeye apparel at Authentic-Brand.com. Linux and your local Linux home comfort specialist. Made right here in Iowa since 1895. Mid-American Energy. Look up, look out for overhead power lines. Visit midamericanenergy.com for electrical safety tips. Also brought to you by hy V. Score big savings with the new hy V Perks membership. And by United Healthcare. Committed to helping people live healthier lives. The preceding has been a Learfield presentation on the Hawkeye Sports Network.